How is everybody doing? Uh, I need this. You're talking about the, uh, the song? Um, the song name's on the screen, so if you want to go find that, look it up. Amazing song. Yeah, do it. He also has some, um, some other, some covers of other songs. This is just my favorite one, because, uh, the Temple OS theme is already really good, and this just makes it even better. How is everybody doing, though? Um, oh yeah. I know I mentioned it in the, the pinned comment. I just want to make one thing clear about what we're actually looking at. So, there are two projects called Oh My Git. So, this is one of them. This is a opinionated Git prompt. Um, this is stupid. I don't care about this. This is basically like the Oh My ZSH of Git. It's dumb. No one cares about it. What we're actually looking at is this one right here. Uh, basically, what this is is a game made in Godot that effectively steps you through everything you need to know to actually, I guess, know why Git's important and know how to actually use it. Because while we can all say like, oh, we'll just go and read the documentation, just read the documentation, that's all you need to know. That I don't think that's a great answer for everyone out there. And I know I definitely struggled actually understanding like what... Git was actually used for when I first started using it. So I thought it would be fun to just look at something like this, see if it's actually uh, worth worth anyone's time. And if you know anyone who maybe wants to learn Git, maybe you have like a, I don't know, a younger sibling or something who is going into a programming degree, or maybe you know someone who wants to start programming, or maybe someone's coming over to Linux. Some, If you have some way to, I guess, get them used to working with Git, it will make them, I guess, a little bit more comfortable actually accessing software. Now, one thing to note is we can go and download this from the GitHub if we really wanted to, but there is also a link. Um, here we go. There's also a link on their website to just download the binary, which is very helpful because it would be really dumb if they made you go and like compile it when you didn't know how to use Git. So I'm very happy they did include this. Uh, it's awesome. Very awesome. Uh, this is actually also, I believe, sponsored by like the Dutch Ministry of Education or something. Yeah, the... Uh, wait, no, sorry. German. The German Federal Ministry of Education and Research. My bad. Um, you didn't understand Git easily. Fake program. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, also, I also struggled with things like loops and stuff. Yeah, I know. It, imagine not being like a god programmer the second you like start up a terminal that that's crazy um i'm having trouble syncing surf with upstream so i hope this is uh in this game and helpful i know there is a section on remotes uh so probably i don't know i, I i've only done like the first level just to make sure the game's actually running besides that i haven't really had a look at it um I just know it exists, and yeah, I, I thought we should just go through this. We probably won't go through the entire thing, because there are, like, a lot of levels. Um. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I, uh, <laughs> I deleted the data. Okay. <laughs> I deleted the data file after I downloaded it. Okay, we'll do that again. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Make sure you keep the data file. The data file is very important, Brody. Um, okay, well. <laughs> uh, well, we'll just play it from here. No point putting in my script directory. That's, that's, that's gonna be fine. Uh, oh my, git. Uh, git battle royale when? Uh, yes. I'm gonna put some music on. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down, though, because that's going to loud otherwise uh, there we go let me know if the music is too loud it should be fine though um yeah anyway let's uh let's actually have a look at the game all right no it actually has its own music doesn't it yeah it does uh i don't think i can turn the music up but you should be able to hear it It, it, it's it's a bop, I guess. I don't think I can mute it either. I guess I could, like, 
mute the uh, the process and then just play my own music, but we'll keep it as is for now. Oh yeah, no, there is a toggle button, nice. Um, I will turn it down though, because it seems like it might be getting close to overpowering the voice. Uh, why I can't hear sound? Can other people hear the, um, hear the audio? How does it teach you how to... Wait, but does it teach you how to use git push... Um... The bit. Does it teach you how to use git push force like a true programmer? I don't know, maybe. We'll, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, the introduction I know is just going to be teaching us like why git's actually important. So this first section... Okay, okay, I guess... I know there is a delay in chat, so maybe it was just that. Um, yeah, this first section is basically going to be like why we use git. So this stuff isn't going to be Git related. Uh, living dangerously, uh, danger, dangerously, living dangerously. So you've decided to apply for the time school machine to learn how to use this time machine called Git. How exciting! You're almost done with the paperwork. You just need to fill in one more reason why you want to learn Git. Okay, let's just add in a new line. Uh, here's a reason. Uh, save. Wow, look at that. We finished the level. Crazy. Uh. <laughs> And yeah, now, now it's sort of getting into the problem where if you don't use Git, this is what sort of starts to happen where you have like version one, then version two, then version final, then version final, final, final. And this is sort of explaining like what the problem with not using Git actually is. Um, making backups. This time you're making a lot of backup copies. You can look at them by clicking on them. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I can. Yes, that is a thing I can do. Okay, and let's add another line to this one. Uh, hello world. Stay there. So, enter the time machine. You've been accepted to time machines, uh, to time, to time machine school, to time travel school. Yay, it's your first day. Your teacher explains to do anything with the time machine, you first need to initialize it. Drag that blue card up to play. I believe we can also run the commands directly. We don't actually need to, um, write them out like this, but the cards are here to give you sort of like a a graphical, I guess a graphical look at what you want to do. So in this case, we can go and drag get a knit in, or a, and it should make us a repo. So there we go. We've got refs heads main. Okay, that's all we need to know. Uh, this is your terminal. All commands are executed here, and you can see uh, their output. You can also type your own commands here. Yep, so we can go and type the commands here as well. Awesome. Okay. Oh, it actually did make a, oh, it actually made a git. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it actually is making a um, a repository behind the scenes. It's not actually just doing it in the game. Huh. I guess that does just make it easier rather than having to, like, emulate Git. Um, yeah, just run a Git repo in the background and just put the data into the game. Okay. These playing cards are designed to be easy to use and to remember. We'd suggest sticking to them if you don't have a lot of experience with Git, but there's another way to interact with Git. Uh, try typing Git init in the black terminal below and pressing the enter key. Git init. Oh, it also has um, completion. Okay, cool. Wow, we made a repo. Cool. Best terminal emulator. I know, right? I love when my terminal emulators um, don't use uh, mono fonts. That's always great. Well, what's up with the sounds? Uh, are they too loud? Uh, that's just the sounds the game's gonna make. If they're too loud, I can try to turn them down. Um, so what are we doing? We are... Okay, so your first commit. You can use your time machine to make snapshots of objects around you. Uh, here, let's practice. Your teacher pours some water into a glass. Uh, again, instead of using the card, you can also type the commands, uh, which are printed on it into the black terminal below. This is totally optional. But this will be a super help, uh, super useful skill in the real world, and it will give you a sparkling golden badge. Well, look, d don't we all use a, uh, a Git interface where you can just drag and drop cards and just magically does stuff? Okay, so make a snapshot of the glass a commit. So we w what we want to do is, so it's using git add dot here. I guess we could do that, or we could, you know, use it properly. Git add glass, and just add that file and nothing else, just in case you know. Maybe there's other stuff in the directory that we don't want to add. Um, yeah. And then it wants us to do a commit. Uh, this is a commit message. 
Save. Cool. So change the contents of glass. Okay, cool. I love it when it pulls my terminal emulator from my system. And because it is non-English, a lot of characters do not appear. Oh, yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Uh, so we have to make a change to the file. Let's just remove that. Cool. And then make a second commit. Okay, git add glass. And then git... Oh, it also shows a little highlight there to make it uh, obvious that it's um, in the repo. That's cool. No, that's just the name of the... That's actually just the name of the program. Uh, that's not That's not me being funny. Uh, that's just the name of the program. <laughs> um... Yay! And also, as we add commit, as we can see, it shows us like a a visual representation of like how the repo is actually laid out. So rather than, you know, having to stare at a massive log, um, I guess this would be actually helpful to sort of understand, especially once we get to branching. Uh, help? Are you, are you stuck? Did you get stuck on the, the first section? Ah, here we go. Now we're looking at uh, doing, um, doing stuff with remotes. Uh, you don't need to add git add the same file. Wait, you don't need to git add the same file for every commit. What do you mean you don't need to git add the same the same file for every commit? If you commit, then it gets taken out of your stage. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Anyway, uh, okay, so this is the time machine of another person to interact with. You need uh, special commands. Ooh, special commands. Uh, working together. Man, I remember when I was trying to do, like, do stuff with Git. But, oh, sorry, do stuff with collaboration before I knew about Git. Like, sharing around program files by hand is an absolute pain. I can't believe my university took so long to actually, like... <laughs> to actually sh uh, it introduce Git to us. I think it took, like, the entire first year... So we were doing group programming projects without having Git, which, um, as you may possibly understand, is not a good idea because <laughs> these were like fairly big projects as well. Uh, get the second commit from your teacher using Git pull. Uh, okay, cool. We're doing a Git pull now. So I'm guessing in this situation, the remote is already set up, but it doesn't, I guess, want to explain like adding in remotes just yet. Okay, so we pulled in the teacher's main branch. Okay. Add your name to the list of students. I felt the same pain. Me and my mate shared code files over Google Drive. Oh, God. We at least, um, we use USB. Uh, USB thumb drives. Uh, my name is Jojo. Cool. We can do a git commit now. Oh, sorry. We need to add it first. My... I, I even forgot how git works. Um, git commit. Uh, add a name. Save. And then we can use... So it's... Uh, expand that out. Cool. And then we can use a git push. And it pushes up my changes to the teacher's remote. Wow. That's crazy. Who would have thought that git would be so handy? What an amazing program. Um, cool. I actually... I know I'm, I'm kind of mocking this, but I feel like this actually would be really useful if I had no idea how Git actually worked. Like, this... So, so far, I am actually feeling fairly positive about this. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that every single one of you guys here has at least a rudimentary understanding of Git. Like, if you use Linux on a regular basis, uh, I'm, I'm sure you have at least some understanding. So... It, it might seem like the content of this is fairly boring, but I think that if there are people in your life who need to learn Git for whatever reason, um, this might actually be kind of useful for them. Uh, why do you need Git when you can safely burn every new commit to a CD and share? No accounts needed. That's a good point. Why do you need Git when you can just SSH into people's machines? That's a much better idea. Unexpected roommate. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, so it's, oh, it's not just doing Git. It's also teaching us general command line stuff. 
Oh, that's that's actually kind of neat. Okay, cool. I that was actually unexpected. Um, unexpected roommates. The first day at time travel school comes to an end, and you receive the key to your room. Full of excitement, you open the door just to find spider webs. Spider webs everywhere. 0.3, I can log into github.com. <laughs> remove all the spider webs you can find, uh, and you can find with the remove card. On the command, I can easily delete all the files ending in dash web with a regex. Or, yeah, with a regex. Uh, file glove? Regex. Regex. Um, someone's gonna bully me because I don't remember the difference. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Wait. No, it's a file glob. Yeah, file glob. Um, back when we did. You know, yeah, definitely it's a file glob because otherwise it would be dot star. Yes, that's how that works, Brody. Do you know how commands work? Uh, back when we didn't know Git, we even shared a changelog.txt with the zip file. Oh, no. That's, that's bad. Um, cool. So if we do an rm and then star web, all of those files are deleted now. Wow. I wonder if it's going to go over things like LS as well, or if it's just always going to show us the files here. I don't know. Wildcard character. Um, yeah, I was, uh, my brain was just falling apart trying to decide whether it was a regex or a file glob. There is a difference, and if Hum is here, he will bully me over the difference. Um, yeah. Uh, it's it's a regex. No, sorry. It's a file glob. It's a file glob, Brody. Get, get your terms right. Uh, interior design. Now that your room looks tidy, you can start to unpack your stuff. You bought, uh, you brought two new pieces of furniture with you, and with a bright, uh, a bright smile. Why is there just, why is that on a new line? That bothers me. Why? That's a comma. That, yeah, that's a comma. Why is that on a new, huh? Okay, sure. Okay, okay, sure. That's a bug. Um, you see that the colors match the color of your bed. Uh, build up your two pieces of furniture by playing the touch card, then name your furniture. You can choose whatever you like. Make sure the colors match. You can find the bed's color in its description. Uh, grammar is sus. Yeah, man, grammar is sus. <laughs> Make sure the colors match. You can find the bed's color in its description. Uh, don't forget to add a color and description to your new furniture as well. A yellow cozy bed. Okay, let, let's add some furniture. Uh, touch chair and we want to go touch uh table cool make sure the colors match your bed's color what does that even mean do we just have to put like yellow in there is that how that works that's a really confusing statement okay yeah you just have to put yellow in there that makes sense okay okay i understand what you're saying game Touch lamp, touch nose, touch feet. Touch feet gunk. Wait, can I add can I add more files? Touch feet. Oh, it actually goes and removes the finish thing. Our feet are yellow. Wow. Oh, it doesn't fail the first one. Oddly. Sure, okay. Hmm. Cool. Yellow feet. Yeah, man, yellow feet. Aren't your feet yellow? So, actually, what sections do we have? So, we have branches, merge, index, remote, change the past, <laughs> shit happens. Okay. Okay, that's a interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting section. Uh, workflows bisect. I've never actually used bisect. That's something I've never actually found myself using. Uh, tags... And then there's a sandbox. My feet are Stallman colored. Uh, let's see. Moving through time. The yellow boxes are frozen points in time. We call them commits. You can travel between them using the checkout card. Try it. Uh, can you find it? Wait. Why? The beginning, little sister comes in, little sister does something. Uh let's uh let's 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 not find out what the little sister does. That's for a different stream. Uh let's <laughs> Can you find out what happened here? Then while on the last commit, edit the files to fix the problem. Frick git all my homies use tables. Yeah man. Who needs git when you can just share the code? To check out a specific commit, type git checkout, then space. Then right-click the commit you want. 
this will uh, insert the commit's unique identifier. So it's not showing us the identifiers here, which is confusing me a little bit. Um, our... What? Okay, so what's that gonna... Did... Wait. Okay, that's actually really confusing. So that one... How do we... How do we see the... Oh, so you can right-click on it to get the... The commit hash. Okay, okay, now I see what you're doing. That's... That's odd. Why? Why do it like that? Rather than just... Showing that you can actually, like, see the commit hash. That's what I would do, at least. I would have it so, like, it, like, has the commit hash, like, hovering there or something. Uh, or maybe, like, you hover over it, it shows you a version of the commit hash or something like that. Um... Hmm. Let's see. What do we? What do we actually want us to do? Restore sis, sister. Wait. Restore sisterly peace. You need raw. Wait. You, you need to raw your files with a password. Who cannot crack that? Should return the computer to play with rocks. Oh god. Ow. Ow. Hit my hand on the mic. Um. Uh, a young girl with brown curly hair has 10 coins. This piggy bank belongs to the big sister. It is empty. Uh, okay. Get checkout. A young uh, girl with brown curly hair. What is? What even is it asking me to do here? All you need to do is go on the last one and make a new change and commit. Okay, that that's a really confusing um, confusing bit of crap uh, thing it wants me to do. Um, okay, thanks for that. I would have been here for like for hours. Uh, uh, git add dot git commit. Yeah, that. I really don't like what it says there. Big sister ate my lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's why she's my big sister. End of story. Put the money back into the piggy bank or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. Sure. Um. Okay, right. Can I just copy it like that? Um, yeah, I'm not a f I, I really don't like what it's done there. That's that's needlessly confusing. Yo, Forzen, how you doing? Has 10... Uh, 10 coins? Get... Add dot get commit. Uh, okay. Brody, do your commit messages look like this is a commit? Um, I would be, I would be lying if I said no. I would certainly be lying. Um, yeah. It's in the pull through your terminal, you can probably use Vim. I don't know if this is like a full terminal. No, it's it's not. No, this is ba this is just like a a very stripped down version of the terminal, which is fine. Uh, it's fine for what it it, it needs to do. Mm -mm. Okay, make parallel commits. Script commits are the best. Well, they are, unless you know you're just doing stuff by yourself. And then it's just like, well, uh, imagine, imagine using Git properly. <laughs> I know Git clone, Git, uh, Git commit, pull, push, just my college assignments and dot files. To be completely fair, as if you're doing stuff by yourself, that's honestly, or like in a university context, that's honestly all you really need. Like, sure, there are other things that are certainly helpful to know, but um, they're not 
in they're not incredibly required. Uh, okay, so did you know that creating parallel timelines is perfectly legal and safe? Wow, we can create multiple timelines. That's insane. Uh, can you find out when things went wrong in this zoo? Then go back to the last community, create a parallel universe where everyone is happy. Uh, the blue animal represents a concept known as the head pointer in Git. It shows you which commit is the current one. Here's a cool trick to go back to the previous commit. We can go Git, uh, check out head and then a carrot. That'll take us to the previous one. You can also go back two commits by typing, for example, git checkout head tilde and then two. I actually didn't know about these for a very, very long time. Whenever I wanted to check something out, I would always check it out based on like the um the the hash of the commit. But that actually is kind kind of useful if you didn't actually know about it. And it's fairly easy to miss if you don't use git that often. Um yeah, anyway, let's see what happened. The the lion is sleeping. Okay. All right, still got Vim in there. Wait. Uh, uh, I can't type anything in the terminal here. Um, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I can't type or delete anything in the terminal right here. Oh no, <laughs> I think I broke it. Um, um, um. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna quit out of the game. Just. Oh, wait. Did I actually try to load up Git? Oh. Oh, sorry. To load up Vim. No, that didn't fix it. Okay. Cool. Just had to check. It, I think it was. If you type a command that doesn't exist, I think it doesn't like that. Um. Yeah, well, <laughs> we we know we know for next time now. Don't don't type commands that don't exist. Good to know. Okay, so the lion was sleeping in the the uh the one we saw before. IGN zero out of ten exactly. The lion looks happy. Okay. Interesting. I've I've loads the app for my Git knowledge. I highly recommend checking this application out. Then, uh, so far it seems. Fairly useful. Um, head, and then carrot. Make sure, okay. A small child that really loves cats, it's holding a lollipop. Um, meat. Uh, child. Eat the child. Git add dot git commit. This is a commit. It left. <laughs> okay, so it's entirely fine for the uh, the lion to eat a child. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you, game. I I appreciate it. Um, I think running sudo rm dash rfd uh, slash might fix it. Uh, well, okay. No, no this isn't actually a okay. <laughs> I said this before, <laughs> but this isn't actually like a full terminal emulator. It's uh, got a subset of the commands that you can actually run inside of this. So even if I actually wait, now that I think about it, RM actually does exist in the application. Um, that might actually work. I'm not going to do that. That's a very, very bad idea. It would end the stream very quickly. Always push commit without description to assert dominance. I am kind of bothered by the fact that um, it hasn't explained that commit messages are actually important. It sort of just told you commits exist, and that's about as far as it goes. I don't know if it's going to go into that at any point. Um, yeah, that is one thing I, I do think is a problem. Oh, that... Why did that just expand from, like, all the way off the screen? Wait, can we actually drag this, like, off the screen? Oh, okay. If we drag it off the screen, it will float back. But, Brody, it's a cool command. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Wait. Bye. It's gone now. Will it come back? Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, sorry for missing the point, but what is wrong with using a GUI Git like something VS Code has? Okay, the... You know what? I'm going to talk about GUI Git for a moment. Um... Okay, so the thing with GUI Git, I don't think that graphical Git clients are inherently a bad thing. I don't... 
I don't think that you should use them, but if the workflow makes sense for you, that's entirely fine. So the thing with GUI gits that is always going to be a problem is that when you use a Git GUI, it's always going to assume a certain type of workflow. Some of them are more open than others. Like the VS Code example, I think is fairly good. Um, but a lot of the Git GUIs, they sort of assume you're going to be working with Git in a specific way. Because if you have a GUI, it's obviously not going to have every single feature available. So it has to decide, okay, here's the things you need, here's the things you don't need, and go about it like that. So if the GUI makes sense for what you want to do, perfectly fine. But I think understanding how the terminal ver or how the, the CLI version works is always a good thing, just in case you need to do something that, I guess, doesn't fit within that workflow. Like in a lot of cases, for example, bisect isn't going to be included. That's, that's one obvious thing. Or maybe cherry pick might not be included. Things like that, when you actually need them, having that option for the CLI there is always really good to have. Um, but if for the most part, like what you want to do just gets done in the GUI, like feel free to use it. Like that, that's fine. That is, yeah, that's, that's the big thing. Using a Git GUI only gives you a shallow understanding of how Git works. But for what you want to do, maybe a shallow understanding is all you actually need. And honestly, for most people, a shallow understanding is probably going to be fine. Brody boy, have a good day. Thank you, Vegeta Genuine Artichoke. <laughs> what is that name? I'm going to the cinema at, uh, at, at 6. Since it is 10.30 where you are. Can you tell me if... No, wait, sorry, that 8.30, Brody. Jeez, can you read? Uh, can you tell me if I liked the movie? Uh, no, it was the worst movie you've ever seen. And instead of going to the uh, the cinema, you should stay here and watch the stream. Um, why do I... I, <laughs> I use 24-hour time for everything, but apparently I can't read it. Well, there are different types of Git GUI. Like you have, for example, Turtle is a popular one on on Windows, but there's also like the GitHub GUI, uh, things like that. Uh, maybe Git RM dash dash cache wouldn't exist. Deletes file from the remote Git repo. Uh, may, maybe it does. Um, so what I, I worked out, I, at least I'm, I'm guessing that what it's doing is running Git in the background, so it very well may have that. And, oh, one thing, uh, one thing I should mention is we actually can make custom levels. Um, I'm not going to because I have no idea uh, how to, uh, but we can make custom levels. So if you, if like something in here that isn't actually supported, you could actually, you know, go and add something for it. You're used to metric 24 hour time, but it was using Imperial 24 hour time. I'm honest mistake. Yeah, man. Imperial 24 hour time. Exactly. Um, okay. You were invited to two parties at one time. Uh, at, at one time. At one of them, your favorite band is playing. And the other one is your best friend's birthday party. Where should you go? No worries. Uh, as a time travel agent in training, you can go to both parties. Uh, one of the advantages I've found in using a Git GUI is they're very good at visualizing branches. Yes, that is very true. Uh, I... I think it's the GitHub GUI that's really good at that. But most of them have some, like, graphical visualization of your branch structure. I'm, like, for me, I don't use that many branches, so I find having, um... Like, I find the branching structure in the terminal perfectly readable, but after, like, three or four branches, it does get to be, like, a little bit, um... I guess a little bit overwhelming. And you can customize your git log to look differently to make it easier. For example, like my, um, I'm going to show you it actually. Uh, let's just, actually, no, we'll get onto my script. Do I have something that has branches actually? I don't even know if I have something that has branches. Uh, wait, no. I've got a, wait, did I just forget? I might have forget, uh, forgot to set up the, um... Yeah, I forgot to set up my alias that shows a pretty version of the git log. Well, okay, forget what I just said. Um... <laughs> you can modify your git log to, like, show the branching structure in different ways. I thought I had that set up. Maybe it'll set up on my old system. Hmm. 
I guess so. Well, my bad. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, to make it easy to tell which timeline is which, you can create time portals. We call these branches. Uh, my experience, Maggot, Emacs, Yilted, Tig, and Git Kraken are the best GUI slash TUI Git clients available. Git Kraken is the one that's best with tree structured branches. Mmm. Mmm, okay. I only do the simple work, commit and branch management from within Vim, special commands in the terminal, and I can have more than 100 branches per project. I just never work on any projects where having that many branches really makes sense. Um, yeah, okay, obviously, the uh, something like the Linux kernel, obviously, is going to have an absolute ton of branches, but, like, how many people are... Like, how many people in this chat are working on the Linux kernel? There we go. How many people in this chat are? Maybe some of you guys are. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone's... Someone in here has committed to the kernel before. That would be cool. Um, branches also make it really easy to travel between different places using the command line. Uh, as soon as you have a branch called birthday, you can type git checkout birthday to travel to it. I've used git kraken. It's nice, but it's freemium. Oh, okay. Um, Tig is, uh, a bit like, e have I looked at Tig? Have I, wait, I, that name rings a bell. Um, Git Tig. Uh, mm. have I looked at this application? Or maybe I'm thinking of something. No, I think I have looked at this actually. Uh, someone let me know if I have. I don't actually know after too many videos. Uh, I fixed typing kernel. That's cool. Oh, camera freaked out. That's weird. Uh, anyway, git branch. Uh, what are we doing? Wait. What's the? Yeah, it's just git branch and then the name of it, isn't it? This is how little I use git, apparently. Um, git branch birthday. We have a new branch. Wow. And it points to the commit we're on. Yeah, as it should. Now, we can create a branch called birthday. It points to the birthday timeline. Wait, the points... Move the branch on to a... Git... Reset dash dash hard and then that wait create a branch called birthday that points to the birthday timeline uh mm. Branch utilization is very... You're supposed to go to the birth to commit and then... Oh, right. <laughs> See, this is why... This is why... Um, this is why I'm playing this game. Uh... Oh, right. We're... We Sorry, we have to can't delete a branch. which check that one. Um... There we go. Yes, that's how that works. Thank you. I I know what I'm doing. Um There we go. Mm. Well, <laughs> uh not sure if you have a video about it, but if you ever looked into terminal options for Git, you 100% have read about it. I know I've looked at some Git 2e options. I just don't remember which ones. Um, anyway, let's go to this one. Oh, no. Sorry. I want to, I want to go git, check out, and then that one. Git, branch. I, so, the, okay. I never use branches in this way. I always create a branch and then add commits to it. Um, yeah. I'm just excusing why I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, ow. Ow. Get branch and then what do we call it? Concert. So I I never have commits made and then branch to them. I feel like that just 
That just confuses me uh, more than it needs to. I don't know when you would ever be in a situation that's actually like this. Um, I've made videos on Git 2ies, so I don't see why not. If you have any suggestions, um, I would be more than happy to at least check them out. Imagine not using Mag uh, Magit in Emacs. Uh, imagine using Emacs. Uh, Granches grow with... Uh, Granches? Granches. Branches grow with you. Note there are two options to time travel to, uh, to the end of a timeline. First, you can directly travel to the commit, uh, like we've done before. And second, you can uh, travel to the branch label in this case. Uh, when you make... Uh, in this case, when you make a new commit, the branch will grow with you and still point at the end of the timeline. Yeah, go ahead and do so. Um, yeah. Let me know, uh, what... Let me... Yeah, the words. <laughs> just, just put in the Discord. Um... Travel directly to the last yellow commit of the birthday timeline. Make a change to you and make a commit. Okay, so we want to get check out birthday. And then we want to get, uh, sorry, we want to add a thing to this and go garbled nonsense. Git add dot git commit. And then the best commit. I have a personal dot file repo where every branch is a different configuration. Why? Why do you have that? <laughs> uh... Travel directly? Oh, sorry, I didn't even read it. It wanted me to... I've never actually re run the detach command. I, yeah, I've never, I have literally never run, I have never run that before. I don't know when I would ever want to do that. Why? Why would you... You uh, you did a video on TIG about nine months ago. Ah. Okay, I thought it sounded familiar. Link for this game, please. It is the second link in the description. Um, yeah. I... Yeah, I've literally never run the detach command. Um... Git. Add. Dot. Git commit. Amogus. Exactly. Amogus. Oh yeah. Right. I still got the Amogus for my subscribe, don't I? <laughs> uh, to make something like a 1.0.1 that is separate from master. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. Uh... There we go, okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've never run the detach command. Yeah. Uh, I Whenever I need to do stuff like this, I'll just branch off. That's... I, I, every problem I solve is with branches. <laughs> this is... Actually, this is part of the reason why I don't use a Git GUI. Because, um... I just want to work in the stupid way I want to work. I just want to. I just want to use Git in a super hacky way, uh, and whatever that super hacky way ends up being, uh, that's what's going to happen. And then we want to add a thing to this. Git add dot git commit. Perfect message. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I wanted me to travel to the, um, the concert label. My bad. I didn't even read that one. I thought it was, it was asking me to do the same thing twice in a row. Well, okay. Um, this is a really gross repo now. Git add dot git commit. Okay, we fixed it. 
Look at this. <laughs> Look at this mess of a repo. What is going on here? <laughs> mm. Wait, Ranson, are you a mod in this channel? I don't know. Uh, yes, you are a mod. Okay, I did fix that. Cool. <sighs> oh, okay. So we have a bunch of branches and it wants us to delete some. Okay. Deleting branches. Uh, life is full of dangers, right? Even when walking to school, it seems like there's a lot of risks. This Monday is especially bad. You made it to school, but there's some timelines you definitely don't want to keep around. Okay. Commit dash A. Uh, add daughter. Either cause the countless bad code views. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I should be doing git add you. That's a entirely fair point. I'll, I'll give you that one. Um, let's see. What are the bad things? What what are the bad things that have happened? Find find the bad branches. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Check this out. Oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff. This is too much reading. Uh, you leave your house and start walking to school. You walk on the left side of the street. You're not in a hurry and walk slowly. You even get some ice cream in your way. You arrive at school too late. Your teacher ang is angry and you're expelled. Well, clearly it wants us to delete that one. That's that's obviously bad. We don't want to get expelled. Um, get checkout and then we'll check that out. So we're somewhere else. Get branch dash D ice dash cream okay get check out and let's check this one out uh you walk on the left side of the street because you're kind of late you start running someone throws a piano out of their window and it smashes you mm. well that seems bad as well uh download this and give it a quick try seems pretty nice i yeah it is pretty nice uh, i i definitely think so oh also, the uh, the devs, they, they seem cool as well. I tweeted at, at them when I was posting the thing, and they, they both liked it, so I appreciate that. Uh, anyway, we want to go and delete this one, don't we? Git, check out. What up, Hem... I don't I don't know. <laughs> so, Hemant... Co Hemant... Kotagir... Uh, I'm... Yeah, that... How are you doing? <laughs> uh... I should just let um, Google Translate handle it. That's my usual go-to. Git branch dash D. And then we want to delete the music branch. I'm guessing we want to delete everything except for the friend branch. That seems like the, uh, seems like where it's going with this. Hey month. Hey month. Okay. Uh, check. Nope. Oh, God. I want to... God, not having, um, not having my Vim bindings in this is annoying. Let's see. You leave your house and start walking to school. You walk on the right side of the street. You jump over a manhole on the walkway. You arrive at school on time. Ah, so I guess we want to delete. Uh, we'll check it out just to make sure. Get check out friend. Oh, that sounds bad. Okay, good luck on this and get good. <laughs> yes. Uh, you leave your house and start walking to school. You walk on the right side of the street. Suddenly you fall down, splash into stinking water, and are eaten by an alligator. Um, okay. That sounds bad. We'll delete that one. Git checkout, and then that. Git branch dash D. Friend. Who needs friends? Delete the friend. Friend deleted. Success. <laughs> uh, how many, where are we at? Okay, we've actually got a bunch left still. Okay, cool. Now, moving branches around. Oh, so it's going into getting merges now. Okay, okay. One of your colleagues messed up a colleagues. Yeah, I, I, I think this is... This is about as good as the way that I learned. I didn't use this tool specifically. I thought I did, but it was just... It was something similar. Um, but I did use a graphical sort of gamey sort of way to learn Git, and I think that's a much better way to, honest, I honestly, I do think it's a much better way to learn than just, one, watching tutorials. Tutorials are a problem because you usually watch a lot of information and don't really try anything out. Um, 
and what was the other one? Reading the documentation is a mess because, you know, you just don't really know what you're trying to learn. Is Oh My Git the repo any good? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Our university never even told us that Git existed. I learned it myself on YouTube. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, so, one of your colleagues messed up here and put the branches in the wrong timeline. Uh, you can delete and recreate these branches, but uh, you can also directly move them to different commits by using git checkout on the branch name and then git and then uh, we're using git checkout on the branch name and then using git reset dash dash hard on the commit where you want the branch to be. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Gotta go? Yeah, talk later, man. Enjoy whatever it is you uh, you got to do. If I come across any uh, twoies that are worth checking out, I'll more than happy. Uh, I will be more than happy to make videos on them. There we go. Uh, did you eat a baguette on the baguette branch? Um, get check out. I guess. I want to check this one out. You do not have a baguette. You drank coffee. Uh, you don't have a donut. Okay. You wanna go too? Yeah, see you later, man. Mm. Did you watch E3? Uh, I watched Mudahar's coverage of E3. <laughs> so, I, I, all I know about E3 is whatever Mudahar was excited about. Okay, so... We wanna do a git reset dash dash... Uh, you drink the coffee. Oh, oh, I don't even need to check them out. Okay, it says it here. Uh, personally, I believe Lugaru should replace GitHub. Oh, it's cleaning? Well, that sounds like lots of fun. Um... Get checkout donut. Uh, do you not have a baguette? Do you not have coffee? You have a donut. Okay. Get checkout. Uh, okay, so if we. Go git checkout and then this one here. And then we do a git reset dash dash hard on that one. Wait, that's not what I'm trying. Wait. Oh, I get rest. My bad. <laughs> that's not going to help. Um, wait, am I forgetting how this works? Wait. Uh, the donut branch is in the right place, but the timeline is still incomplete. Make sure you actually eat the donut in that branch. Um, okay. Wait, am I forgetting? Wait, get check out. Uh, coffee. There we go. Okay. Git reset, dash dash hard, and then that one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I was just pressing the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, I was trying to move it to the wrong thing. That, that would be why. Uh, we want to go git checkout. I actually never move branches around like this. So even stuff like this actually is like kind of new to me. Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of like some of the people who've been in here before uh, who've been saying that they basically just use git to like do commits, pushes, things like that. Um, so I am actually am learning some things here as well. I've ne I don't think I've ever actually ran the git reset dash dash hard option like this. I should do a video on Paxtool. It's AUR for Ubuntu. Oh yeah, he did do a video on that, didn't he? Um... 
Git, ah, uh, sorry. Git checkout. I might do a video on that, actually. That, that sounds fun. Um, wait. I will add it to my list of things. Yeah, here we go. Uh, no, also, before anyone asks, I'm not doing a Windows 11 video. <laughs> I don't care enough about Windows 11 to do a video on Windows 11. Uh, there we go. I have confessed, the only Git repo I really worked is my dot .files, so I've only really done basic stuff with branches and remotes. Hmm. Well, look, if that's all you need to do for that, for, like, what you're trying to do, that's fine. Um, you have a donut. You... Actually, I wonder if I can just put eat anywhere in this line and it just works. I wonder. Git add dot git commit okay it does then i actually do have to put it in the right spot damn well it is going to uh check that a little bit no fun no fun game let me br let me try to break you git add you git commit save did you eat a donut on the donut branch? Um, wait, does the woman to call it? You eat a donut? What is it? What is it trying to get me to do? Like it says, eat a donut. Uh, eat a donut here. Uh, git commit. Right, git. Sorry, git add. Uh, git commit. Some of the things that it's trying to get me to do. Um are slightly confusing. Uh, you eat a donut. Why did that not work? Okay, what What in the world? Okay, we're just going to reload. Clearly, there's something you're supposed to do there that I'm confused about. Um, so we'll go do these ones first. Actually, no, we'll try to get the donut one... Um, before we do anything else. Because that seems really weird. Does it teach DN too? DN is really confusing for me. What is DN? Uh, note the commits that are not directly or indirectly reachable by label branch name, for example, are called dangling commits. And not easily accessible if you do not remember the commit hash. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what DN is. Uh, if you let me know what that is, that would be helpful, I guess. What is it trying? Did you eat a donut in the donut branch? Um, I had assumed all we would do here is. Wait. Git checkout main. You don't have a... Okay, no, that's fine. That's all empty. So what is it trying to get me to do to this donut one, then? Um, we'll just try that again. I'm sorry, little one. Yo, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, let's try this again. Maybe I had to do it like, like, maybe I couldn't have extra commits or something there. Um, you eat a donut, a, a conut, exactly. What is it? Okay. Some, something weird is happening with the game there. I'm not sure what it's trying to get to do there. Or get me to do there. Um, that's a really, really confusing one. The game could definitely, um, definitely be improved with some more clear messaging in here. Oh, he got... Oh, right. It was a D's nuts joke. That's very funny. I am, I am, I'm laughing. I am laughing so much 
at a D's nuts joke. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, did you already don't? Maybe it wants me to make a new branch? No, it doesn't have get, uh, it doesn't have like make a branch down here. So, um, I might, honestly, I might just leave this one and go to the next level. Cause that's real, that's real weird. So we change the file. We change the commit name. Um. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else I could do to make that, like this section here, work. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna skip this one then, because something weird's happening. Merging timelines. Okay. Uh, so I just joined now. We'll catch up from the beginning later once the recording's available. Now it's all good, man. You don't have to. You don't have to go back and watch it if you don't want to. <laughs> or you, if you're like, I guess you want to go ahead. That's cool. I appreciate it. Um, isn't even some kind of commit collection for? Wait, some commit collection, garbage collection for commits without any labels. Um, I'm also not sure if GUIs even still visualize those commits. I'm guessing it's just Creative Commons music. So I'm not too sure. It certainly doesn't sound like anything, um, anything too hype, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, here's a trick so you can sleep a bit longer. Just do all of your morning activities in parallel uni uh, universes, and then at the end, merge them together. Build a situation where you can, where you consumed, where you consumed a baguette, a coffee, and a donut. Be on a merge commit. Okay, you eat a baguette, you eat a donut, you drink the coffee. Wait, maybe this explains. Oh, maybe it wanted me to call it specifically you eat the donut. That could be it. Um, git merge. And then let's merge that one. Whoa, crazy. Git merge. And then merge that one. Yay! We merged them. That's not a confusing visualization or anything, having all of them being the exact same color. This <laughs> comedy is not a skill everyone possesses. Yeah, it, cl clearly, clearly judging by uh, judging <laughs> by the quality of the jokes I'm seeing. Um, not to say I'm funny. Uh, yes, there is garbage collection done automatically after at least two weeks if you have a massive Git repo. I did not know that. I have never had a repo that big. Uh, contradictions. Hmm, okay. Contradictions. Sometimes timelines will contradict each other. Uh, for example, in this case, one of our clients wants these timelines merged, but they ate different things for breakfast in both timelines. Ah, so it's asking us to do a, um, a merge conflict now. Try to merge them together. Uh, you'll notice that there will be a conflict. The time machine will leave it up to you how to proceed. You can edit the pro a problematic item. It will show you the conflicting sections. You can keep either of the two versions, uh, or create a combination, uh, or create a combination of them. The, uh, these things and these things and the equal signs, uh, uh markers, uh, uh, and equals markers make a new commit to finalize the merge. Let your finalized timeline, uh, timeline be on the main one. No, I, I definitely did not make this. This is, I, I am not taking credit for this, that's for sure. Um, I, yeah, no, I, I've never done any stuff with Godot. This is not my project. I, I just want to promote it. Um, git merge. Merge that one in. Okay. And then we'll do a git merge and merge that one in. Okay, cool. We have a merge conflict. Uh, let's, honestly, let's just merge it all together. I don't care. Cool. And save. And then git... How do we solve a merge conflict? Is it just a git add... Git add dot and then... 
Get commit? Is that how you... It's been a while... Yeah, okay, that is how you do it. It's been a while since I've had to do merge conflicts. <laughs> I wasn't sure for a second what to do with that. <sighs> cool. Next level. Oh, just stopped it. Ah. Okay, so now we're doing indexes. Okay. Step by step. Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to learn how to make commits with more precision. Have a look at these two timelines. They have exactly the same outcome, but one of them makes it much easier to figure out what happened. Uh-huh. It's due to funding from the German taxpayer. Hmm. Yes. Thank you, Germany. Uh, you, you, you did something cool. Uh, pick the timeline that's clearer and make the logical change. So, clearly it wants me to go to, uh, git checkout. And then check out all at once. Oh, I can't tab complete that for some reason. That's odd. Uh... I think it is kind of weird that the workflow is taught here with quite a lot of dangling commands since it really does not seem practical in a real use ca uh, in a real use case. I think that it's teaching stuff piece by piece. I don't think that the how would I describe it? I don't think that the general workflow it's teaching is super important and it shouldn't it should actually make that a bit more clear. Um, but if you're taking each idea as its own, like, separate little concept, I think that actually is still incredibly useful. But it should- there's a couple of things I've pointed out so far that have, I think, really should be addressed. Like, it doesn't talk about, say, commit messages, for example, why commit messages are actually important. Uh, it doesn't talk about things like, as you said, the dangling commits. The repo structure is a little bit strange in a lot of cases, and- um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that could definitely be improved upon. The ball is now touching the book. The book has fallen over. The candle has been blown out. Uh, can I just do anything? Is it just going to let me do anything? Get commit. Uh, cool. Cool. Get add. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, it didn't. Okay, is this is another one of those weird ones where it's like, hey. Um. Hey, uh, do this thing that we're not exactly going to properly explain. Um. I have literally no idea what it's trying to get me to do here. <laughs> git add dot git commit. I'm not sure what it's trying to get me to do. Clearly it wants me to make a commit to one of these timelines, but... Uh... Yes. A similar heavy glass ball. A thin book standing upright. A candle burning with a blue flame. I guess it wants me to make... The... Smoke detector make noise, I guess? Um... Wait. Get... I don't want to check out the file. That's not what I want to do. Get check out and then... Step by step. Um, it's smoke detector, it's making sound, noise, uh, volume, I, I don't know, I'm just gonna add words that it could pick up as the correct thing. <laughs> git commit, uh, sorry, git add dot git commit, uh, Okay, that's what it wanted me to do. So it wanted it wanted one of like some sort of word relating to noise in there. Right. Okay. I I go back to my previous point about how um this game is severely lacking when it comes to 
clarity in what it's trying to get you to do. Okay, so, so far, when we made a commit, we've always recorded the current status of all objects right. Forget allows you to pick which changes you want to put in a commit. Um, to learn how that works, you need to learn about the index. In the index, we can still prepare what will be in the next commit. In this game, the index is represented by a blue aura around icons in the file browser. Uh, initially, the index is empty. To make a commit that com contains a new file, we need to add it. Uh, you can use tab completion in the terminal, start typing a file name, and press tab. Okay. Git, add, and then, I guess, candle. Okay, that's what, Okay, yeah. Git, commit. Uh, cool. So, it's trying to explain, like, what commits actually are now. Okay. Okay, I get you. Mm. Uh, when we change files, the index won't change on its own. We have to use... G I know git. <laughs> I, I know git as well. Um, uh, cool. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say about that. Cool. <laughs> that, that's, that's good to know. <laughs> Um, when we change files, the index won't change on its own. We have to use git add to update the index to the changed version of the file. Uh, let's try that. The icons in the file browser show you when a, uh, when the actual file, uh, wait. When the actual file white version and the version in the index blue version are different and when they're the same. Okay, so make a change to the thing. Okay. Cool. Now it's saying that has been changed. No, I'm reading chat. Uh, it, it's as we can see, chat's going by very quickly, so it's it's very difficult for me to read chat right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Even though we have like 42 people in here, no one, like, oh, sorry, 44 people in here, everyone's just quiet. Maybe they're just all listening to the the lecture going on. They don't want to like interrupt class. They're just like, okay, okay, Brody Sensei, I'm just going to to sit here and listen. Um, let's just learn get together. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Because uh, this is the quietest I've ever had a um a live stream. <laughs> when I've had four, over 40 people in here. <laughs> Everyone's just like quietly listening, I guess. Cool, we'll make a commit. Once again, name your commit messages quite well, as, as we can see. This right here is a perfect commit message. I haven't. Name to commit like this, I think. Um, better not disrupt the flow. Feel free to disrupt the flow. If you have like any qualms about what I'm doing, any uh, any any points you want to bring up about Git, um, do you want to do you want us to destroy that? You can you can destroy the chat if you want, but that that's cool with me. Uh. Resetting files in the index. Oh god, my chat broke. We're just waiting for a small brain bro a small brain there you go. A small brain broment. Various changes. Uh wait, have you guys seen the commits that I've made to my dot files repo? I'm gonna show you. Uh I'll show you like how big brain my commit messages are. Uh let's see. My dot files that have why am I why in the world does my dot files repo have so many that is the wrong thing that's my live stream uh why does my dot files have so many uh so many stars here we go uh I have a second contributor on my dot files I did not know that anyway commits um uh, oh yeah no some of these are actually reasonably named. Add awesome changes. Uh, commit changes. Update dot files. Update dot files. Update PyCom config. Add changes. Uh, update. Uh, no, actually, those are fairly decent. Add dot file changes. Uh, <laughs> this is a commit. Uh, where can I find this game? There is a link to it in the um, in the description down below. Uh, this is a commit 2.0. Update files. 
Add fot file. Okay, that's had a uh, spelling mistake in it. Update dot files. Update dot files. Commit a bunch of changes. Commit minor changes. <laughs> this is what happens when you work on a repo by yourself. Okay, the in the case of sorry, the, I thought the camera was over here. The camera's over here. In that case, that actually makes sense because that was for awesome WM. So don't bully me for that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, that actually was named sensibly. Horrible commit. I won't merge that. Well, luckily for me, I'm the owner of the repo, so I don't really care how badly my commits are named. <laughs> um. Anyway, we're looking at resets now. Uh, resetting files in the index. See the dark shadow behind the icons? That's the version of the file in the last commit. That's the version of the file. Right, okay, that's what it's saying. For example, these candles have been blown out and that change has been added. Uh, but you decide that this was a mistake. You only want to blow out the red candle in the next commit. Uh, if you already have updated the index to a changed file, uh, but want to reset it, you can use git reset. So we want to do a git reset on the blue and the green. Okay, git reset. Git reset. Uh, reset blue underscore candle. And we want to do a git reset uh, green candle. In my opinion, the concept is really cool, but it focuses more on being playful than actually uh and what's actually important is a little too abstract for someone who does not know git prior yeah that's i can i can see that um no one do a git commit yeah i i think that as a tool to teach you like what the commands actually do it's not bad i don't think at least from what i'm seeing right now it's amazing when it comes to teaching you like a general Git workflow. Like, okay, how do like how would you actually structure a repo? Sure, it's all it's all well and good to know that we can commit things and we can make branches, but like, how would you actually use those uh, those techniques? Would you create a new branch for every commit you want to do and then merge them all at the end? Are you going to have a feature branch and then uh, when the feature branch is ready, then you merge it back into master? Or I guess in this case, it's calling it main. Um, we, I'm, I'm going to call it master. I don't I don't care that we're, we're changing it to main now. Um, are you going to create a development branch and then a testing branch and then a master branch? Like, how would you actually use Git? That, I think, is definitely missing. I use base subversion. Mmm. I don't think I've ever met anyone who actually uses subversion. <laughs> Adding changes step by step. Add awful changes. This is pure garbage. It'll probably be removed within the next six months. <laughs> or within the next day. Um, Adding changes step by step. The index is really useful because it allows us to be... It allows us to be precise about which changes we want to include in each commit. Get better than subversion and mercurial. I'm sure. I'm sure during their time, subversion and mercurial were good. Um, but then Git existed, and then I don't think anyone really cares that Git has a monopoly on code repos. Like I don't think anyone's really going to complain about that. Like that's just a good thing. It's just I, like does anyone actually complain that Git? Like, is the program that everyone uses. Sure, you like, Git doesn't need to be the one program everyone uses, but does anyone actually complain that it is Git? I haven't heard anyone complain about that. At least anyone, you know, under the age of, like, 60. Have you seen Fossil by the SQLite guys? Uh, no. What is Fossil? I'm guessing, judging by the topic that we're on, it is a source code thing. Uh, SQLite Fossil. Why SQLite does not use Git? Oh, they actually use a... Huh. I guess SQLite is the one set of, uh, set of people that do complain about that. I did... I've literally never heard about that. Is it good? I'm guessing... 
I'm guessing there's some reason why they use it. Uh... I, I don't know. <laughs> New subscriber. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to the, the train wreck. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Looks like a video idea for me. Put it in the list, Brody. Yes. Okay, sure. I, I'll, I'll put you on a list. Um... Oh, God, no. There we go. Fossil, um, source code management? I don't know. I guess that works. Ma whatever. Management. There we go. I can, I can spell. Um, a bottle containing a clear liquid. A hammer balancing on its handle. A white sugar cube. The founder... Uh, OS SQLite made a source code system based on SQL and the SQL Server. Why? Okay. Um. To form a logical sequence of events. What in the- what is this- wait, hold up, I just realized something. I saved the file without making a change to it, and it- thinks that I... Let's do that again, actually. Save. Wait, what? I, I didn't... That's weird. I added a change to this... Oh, I didn't add a change to this one, but I... Okay, sure. I guess it's just not going to do it the same way. I don't know if it actually matters how we do this. Okay, it doesn't. We can just add anything to it. That's cool. Cool. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be picky about it, trying to like get some specific... Specific sequence. Um. Mm, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. One thing I want to ask is, um. Exactly. Why is the only sensible question you can ask about this thing? Yeah. I. I. Shut. I'm sure there's a reason why they made it. Um. One thing I want to ask, uh, before we go any further, actually. I've been, like, messing around with, like, the camera angles. So, uh. Now it's like more off to the side. Previously, I had it like in front. Like normally, if I was staring uh, <clears throat> staring directly forward, I'd be like staring right into the camera. But now I've got it off to the side. You might have noticed it in a couple of recent videos. Um, does it look better? Does it look worse? Do you like? Should I try something else? I don't know. I'm just messing around with the, the placement of it. Um, and it gives me the ability to like talk to the camera like this, and then like when I'm doing stuff on the computer, like you know. Look like I'm I'm actually like focusing on something else besides just focusing on the camera. I don't know. It's it's just a weird YouTuber thing. Uh, if it looks awful, I'm more than happy to change it back. Yeah, you're not an ego, bro. You won't care about the how the camera looks. Fair enough. Um, it's more of a a videography a videography videography thing. Uh, this looks better? Okay. Well, this, yeah, I, I know that, like, a lot of YouTubers are basically, like, setting up their camera in this way, and I just wanted to try it out to see if it would look good with my setup, and, yeah, uh, if it works, and it works. Cool, I'll, I'll accept it. Add only, uh, only add one of these changes. Okay, git add, and then let's add the change for bottle. Git commit a bottle. Make a second commit that only records a single change. Git add hammer. Git commit a hammer. Uh, Brody is that hacker over there. I actually am considering um, making some changes to the camera itself. I want to buy a, a new lens that should make everything look better. Uh, I've talked about it on the podcast before. Um, I'm, 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 I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the, the Amazon Prime day, so I don't have to spend as much money. Uh, hopefully it gets cheaper. Hopefully the mic I want to replace this thing with also gets, uh, also gets cheaper. I'm probably going to buy a Shure SM7B, because, why not? <laughs> Every YouTuber apparently owns a Shure SM7B, so I might as well buy one. Um... I've been putting off buying them because it's expensive. Have you ever played Jack and Daxter? Uh, which one? 
The answer is yes to all of them, except Baxter on the PSP. That's the only one I haven't played. Uh, I, I, are we talking about like Precursor Legacy or like just the series in general? Because they're all amazing games. I 100%ed all of them. Check out Jack. Wait, what is this? Uh, water, water one one one, water one hundred eleven, water one one one, Jack Dash Project. What is this? What is this? What am I looking at? Wait, hold up, hold up. What is this? Hold up, hold up. Uh, this project is to port Jack 1 NTSC Black Label version to PC. Over 99% of this game is written in Goal. Oh yeah, uh, the first Jack game is written in, um, in Lisp. Because, of course it is. Uh... Ah, uh, that's awesome! Okay. I didn't know this, this existed. Uh... <laughs> that's that's just cool. Okay. Uh I don't know if they've made any decent progress. It looks like they're working on it at least. Um Sup Linus man, how you doing? That's cool. That's really cool. Uh seems like an amazing use of your time. Jack One's very good game. I have any reason to play it again. Uh, get branch dash D main. Yeah, you... No, actually, no, it's, uh, you want to do a... What's the command to rename the branch? Uh, is it dash M? How do you rename a branch? Rename it to master. Like, the proper name. Okay, what are we doing? You need to apply gorge and blur to all your camera feeds. Uh, let's... I can basically do that if I just, like, defocus it. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm gonna do something dumb. Here we go. Can I- actually, can I just add a blur? Is that a thing I can do? OBS, let me blur my camera. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, dash M, okay. Yeah, you do a- a- a, a git branch dash M and then name it a master. Uh, anyway, what are we doing? RSS feed master race. Yeah, man, RSS feeds are the way to go. Okay, so your friend added a second, or added a second, added another line to your essay. Get it at a third one, send it to them, take turns, so you have five lines. Okay, so we want to do a git pull. Okay, want to add a thing? <laughs> are we sure that I didn't make this commit? What is, what is this, what is, what is this line? Okay, sure. Save. Uh, git add dot git commit. Git. Oh, sorry. Give it a name. Uh, git push. Oh. Okay, they got a thing there. Okay, and then we can do a git pull. Just came, what are we doing today, Brody? We are playing a game called Oh My Git. Oh My Git is basically going to teach us how to use Git. Um, yeah. It, it, it seems like it's doing a decent enough job at teaching us the commands, but not doing a good job at teaching us the Git workflow. But if you don't know anything about Git, I don't think this is the worst thing you can try. There are certainly worse, uh, worse ways you can you can try to you can try to actually learn how Git works, like just ju uh, just like diving into the documentation. Um... Oh, yep, they just added a bunch of nonsense. Uh, will it teach to advanced levels? This dude is a complete douchebag. Is that so? Uh, okay. You, you don't have to be here if you don't want to. I hate his accent. Cool, I hate your, I hate your attitude. Okay. 
<laughs> you can leave if you want to. Uh, let's do that one. Git add dot git commit and then git push. Yay! Oh no, not the docs. Look, the documentation is like great if you have some understanding of uh some understanding what's the word some understanding how git actually works already but i think just diving into the documentation with really no understanding uh probably isn't the best bet uh you're a damn australian kangaroo humper i wouldn't want to hump a kangaroo they would uh they would probably drop you pretty quickly uh g'day mate he's confused I hate his beard. Yeah, man, the beard. Beard's pretty terrible, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I hate his fingernails. My fingernails actually are kind of a mess. I chew my fingernails, so, like, they're not exactly in the best condition. Wow. Don't hate my mother. That's mean. Don't bring my mother into this. Uh, anyway, next up, what are we doing? Maybe I should talk like this, and then that'll that'll really annoy you for the rest of the stream. Yeah, I might I'm, I might just I might just do this for the entire stream just to bother you. Uh, this is why you can't let Dell Tech program your software. Uh, you have to write na branch name when you push. You have to write na ah no 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 branch name when you push. Uh, let's see. Yeah, man, I know I'm 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 the funniest I'm the funniest lad on the planet. Uh, problems. Both you and your... I can't, I can't keep the accent. That accent's really hard to read stuff with. Um, both you and your friend have been working on the file and want to sync up. Uh, commit your local changes. Okay. Git commit. Wait, I want to, want to add it first. Uh, it's almost like, uh, I'm not new to the internet. It's almost like I've, uh, I, I, I've been around for quite a while. Look at your friend's suggestion, make a compromise, and then push it back. Uh, okay, so we want to do a git pull. Okay. And we want to go... Make a compromise. Let's just merge it together. And go save, git add sort, git commit. That needs to be a short. Mmm... I'll put it on my thing. Uh, thoughts, notes. Get rid. I already made those ones. Um, what was I doing? Uh, one thirty-four. There we go. Accent. Cool. Thank you. Uh, if I remember to make that a short, I'll make it a short. Uh, save. Okay, and then push it back. Get push. It does sort of magically make everything change. I feel like if it put a bit, a bit more emphasis on how the branches are actually changing, um, rather than just like, whoop, it changes. I like your channel and video, bro. I appreciate you. You're cool. Uh, what are we up to next? Changing the past. Oh, rebasing. Okay. Another thing that I'd never actually find myself using. Okay, turns out the saving time in the morning by utilizing parallel universes is against the regulations of the International Time Associ a Time Travel Association. Uh Barbara ready till I come back with a new name. Uh you're gonna change your name? Do you think it's anti competitive for Microsoft to purchase GitHub and LinkedIn? Firstly, why would anyone I, I don't know why anyone's using LinkedIn to begin with. LinkedIn is just it's just Facebook with extra suits. Um, and I don't think it's anti-competitive for GitHub to be... Or for Microsoft to purchase GitHub. If they also then went and purchased GitLab, uh, that would be a problem. Because then you'd have, you know, multiple of the, the the big, you know, Git remote tools being owned by one company. But if they're in one of them, like, I don't think that's really a problem. You might just not... Um, like Microsoft and not want to use GitHub because of that, but I don't think them owning that is anti-competitive. Uh, see the rebase card. When you drag it to a commit, it will copy the events of uh, in the current timeline. 
GitHub has many private repos of projects being done by the competitors. Okay, no, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, no, that's that's fair enough. Um, you, no, you actually make you make a good point. Hmm. I did not think about it like that. Yeah, you might be onto something actually. Uh. Hmm. LinkedIn is porn hub for jobless people. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what are we doing? When you drag it to a commit, it will copy the events in the current timeline after the specified one. This way, wait, this way make a clean linear timeline where you visit all three shops. Again, we want to make our base reality. The main branch should point to that timeline. Okay, so if we do a git rebase. Okay, Microsoft is a weird company. They like to buy up basically everything to be completely honest they don't need to actually do anything at all like owning minecraft is enough to just keep their company afloat uh can we just wait get check out uh check out main uh get rebase it got Rebase, and then that one. There we go. Okay. Get re rebase, and then take that one. Get rebase. That one. There we go. That is a mess. That is an absolute mess. I mean, when you submit private code to a company, it's still a company uh, that can be sold to the highest bidder. I think that any company that actually worries about that is going to have a um, is going to actually have their own private repository, like not on GitHub. Most of the companies that, like, most of the repos that I've dealt with um, that are like super private like that have all been on. Um, what's, what's the, uh, what's, what is it called? Um, it's not Git, it's not, it's not GitHub and GitLab. It's, there's another, there's another really big one that's very popular with corporate. Uh, I think, I think GitLab is more secure, right? Well, with GitLab, you can host your own instance. So if that's what you're really worried about, then there is that. Bitbucket. Thank you. That one. Bitbucket is very popular with corporate. Um, reordering events. For the same reason why GitLab is. Uh, Atlassian. Yes, uh, yeah, you've got... Um, Bitbucket I know I've seen a lot of. Mm. <sighs> but yeah, Bitbucket is popular for the same reason um, GitLab is, because you can self-host. Uh, but yeah, Atlassian, Atlassian is a, is a lovely company. Uh, <laughs> they, make, they make great tools that work so well. I, I, I don't, I don't. Git plus mailing list versus GitLab. Uh, hmm. Look, it works fairly well for the, uh, the Linux kernel. So, if you don't need stuff to be incredibly quick, hey, it's probably fine. Uh, a mailing list is... You know what? A mailing list works perfectly fine. It... Like, there's, there's no reason why you can't get everything done with it. But... There are convenient things that you get from GitLab that you just can't really do with a mailing list. Like, for example, having fairly easy to access comments, for example. 
Uh, will Canonical go public this year? Uh, you'd have to ask Canonical that one. I didn't know they were thinking of going public. Reordering events. Oops, looks like there's something messed up here. Can you put the events back into their correct order? Uh, there are two ways to do this. You can drag the interactive rebase card to the commit before the one you want to change. Uh, or you can reset the main tag to the very first commit and then cherry pick single commits in the order you want. Oh, it's introducing cherry picking as well. Mmm, that would be kind of fun. I don't know where I would... How I would find out about that one without, like, joining the Linux kernel, uh, like, development team. Maybe, I guess, analyzing the branch structure. Maybe they've got a, some documentation on, like, how to work on the, uh, the Linux kernel. I've never looked into it, so uh, I, I honestly have no idea where I'd even start with that one. Anyway, the beginning. Put on shoes, put on pants, put on underwear, put on shirt. So, git checkout. We'll go to the beginning. <clears throat> Honestly, I find the idea of using mail lists for communication with multiple people uh, to be too chaotic for me. Did they fix the GitHub bug that was being exploited to mine Bitcoin? That's... We're looking this up. GitHub exploit. Bitcoin miner. Uh, GitHub... A Wait, what? Wait, how did I not hear about... Hold up. How did I not hear about this? This seems like massive news. Uh, GitHub actions being actively abused to mine cryptocurrency on GitHub servers. How did this not show up on my radar? I don't know how I missed this. Uh, this week, according to Dutch security engineer Justin Purdock, attackers have targeted GitHub repositories to use GitHub Actions to mine crypto. Uh, repositories use GitHub Actions to facilitate CI/CD automation and scheduling tasks. However, this particular attack abuses GitHub's own infrastructure to spread malware and mine cryptocurrency on their servers. <laughs> the attack involves the threat actor forking a legitimate repository that has GitHub Actions enabled. The threat actor then injects malicious code in the forked version and files a pull request for the original repository maintainers to merge the code back. I did not know this was a thing. Okay, um, I'm guessing it has been fixed because it, it's happened three months ago. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that just slipped past my radar. I would have assumed that like r slash Linux would have been fairly like up in arms about it when it happened, but I just didn't see this. Um... Yeah, where are we doing? That one? Uh, no, no, we're, we're already on the right thing. There. Uh, if I remember correctly, Drudevolt mentioned how they removed free continuous integration from source hop because of crypto miners abusing the free CPU cycles. Look, if you want a free crypto miner, um, if you want a free crypto miner, AWS has a free tier. Just, just use it. I'm not saying that you should break Amazon's t uh, TOS, but they do have a free tier. Anyway, so what we want to do, I'm guessing the order it wants is get cherry pick. Uh, so if we cherry pick, let's grab, we'll put on the underwear first. Why not? And we want to do a Git cherry pick. <laughs> I'm not giving you any suggestions for things that you could possibly do. Uh, but but it is a thing that you could do. Oh, that lagged out a bit. Um, FBI come quick. Actually, I'm sure Amazon has some sort of detection for people trying to do that. But maybe they don't. Maybe no one's tried it. 
And whoop, grab that one. Wait. Hold on. Uh. That is. That, that, that feels like the correct order. Oh, it also wants. Oh, okay. No. Right. It wants us to put the. Um. The, my, the main on that one as well, I think. I think. Git rebate. Sorry. Git checkout main. Git rebase. Uh, no, sorry. Git, re Git uh, reset dash dash hard and then on that one. Oh. <laughs> it's not an exploit. Uh, it's people not reviewing pull requests before merging. Ah, oh, there we go. Dude, make a video on office suits in... Oh, office suits. Office suites in Linux. Get games a bloat. This is true. Uh, sometimes bloat is good for learning. So now we are up to the fun section, the other uh, shit happens section. This is my favorite section. Mm. Make a video on Office Suites in Linux. I don't really know what to say. Like, the only one that matters is... Is LibreOffice. I... On that note. I have been considering... I've been considering doing a video... Uh, replying to DT's video on... Um, word processors being evil. Uh, cause I've got some things to say about it. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the video, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely considering it. How are you doing? Uh, Sivar, 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 I, I'm sorry. I'm going to call you Siv. Savara. I'm going to call you Savara. Savara works. Savarajan? Savarajan. Hmm. I'm not sure how to say that. Uh, herd immunity. If I say herd immunity, is that going to put me onto like a, a, a Rona watch list? I think it might. I should probably stop saying herd immunity. But how is GitHub going to prevent a Bitcoin mining? I mean, GitHub actions run code. Siv is okay? Cool. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very bad with, I'm very bad with names. Do you want to respond to it? Okay, I'll do it. True minimalism is randomly trying things until something works. Is that how that works? Is that how it works? Uh, restore the essay to contain uh, to contain important content. So I guess it wants us to check out the file. Yeah, it wants to check out the file. Okay. Wait, can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one of my friend's names, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dox him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write his name out on the screen. Um, here we go. Wait. Uh, wait. This this name has too many letters in it. There you go. Um. Yeah. I don't know how to set... Wait, no, I, I put an extra shirt in there. I bad. Get rid of that one. There we go. Now it's spelled correctly. I don't know how to say this. There's a reason why everyone calls this guy Shud. I think it's like Shud Hasharada... Hasharara... Something. Shud Hasharana... Ra, ra, whatever. Uh, Shud Hasharanaraman. Yeah, there it is. Shud, Shud Hasharanaraman. That's his last name, right? No, that's his first name. No, that's definitely his first name. Um, his brother's name is just as long. Look, here's what I'm going to say, right? If your name has more than three, three syllables. If your name has more than three syllables, I think your name might be too long. A little too long. Uh... Yeah. Three three syllables seems like enough syllables for any any sort of name out there. 
Uh, restore a file from the past. Here's a similar problem. You really like the essay from the very... Uh, you really like the essay from the very first commit. You want to have it back. We'll check out... Uh, can also restore things from older commits. Here's how. Ch uh, git checkout commit file. Um, git checkout. And... Wait. Oh, I'll get the first version of it. I didn't... I did not know you could do that. Wait, git commit. Wait. I didn't... I did not know you could do that. I did not know that was a thing you could do. Huh. You can, wait, you can check out. You can check out a commit. You can check out a commit and then check out a file from that commit. I did not know you could do that. Huh. Okay. That, I, I guess I'm learning something here. That's cool. Man git. Well, yeah. Well, you could do that, but... Like, if you don't know what to do with git at all, um... Just go away and do it. Uh, I think at least. Uh, undo a bad commit. No wonder why most of the people could not pronounce my name. I look, I most most look, most of the people I know have names like John. Like that that, that that's the extent of my my ability to pronounce names. John and Kyle, things like that, you know, boring white people names. Uh it's 150 degrees in Australia. It's cooking his brain. Better hurry up before your next rolling blackout. We haven't had many blackouts here for a while. Uh, undo a bad commit. Oh no, we made a bad commit. Oh no, how bad? How can we undo making the commit and go back to a point where we can try again? The answer is you can get reset and then the name of the commit. Uh, which does two things. It resets the current branch ref to the commit you specify and it resets the index to that commit. It does not uh, change your work directory in any way, which means that after that you can make the commit you want to make. In the last main commit, the number the numbers file contains the numbers from 1 to 10. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait, what? The commit with the typo is not part of the main branch anymore. Roby Bruderton. 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 Roby Bruderton. That's just nonsense. Y'all had no. Y'all. Y'all. I feel like my brain cells just collapse into themselves when someone says y'all. Um. Hi Brody, what's that? This is a game called Oh My Git. Uh, it is a game where you 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 you, you learn how Git works. Um, Bruder is brother in. I probably pronounced that horribly. Uh, is brother in German. Uh, in the last main commit, the number file contains the numbers from 1 to 10. Is this another one where it's like, where it's like really weirdly worded? I think it is. Oh, sorry, we want to do a git reset. Git checkout main. 
git reset um i think that's what it wants us to do wait git okay, this file contains numbers one to ten one to three four five six seven yep cool git reset to that one uh wait git commit dash a make a new commit after all make me oh oh right okay no that that makes sense okay i was just overthinking what to try and get me to do why where's the git reset even there I'm surprised you can read text upside down this fast. Impressive. Look, once you spend uh, 23 years of your life living upside down, you realize that the blood has completely flown... Uh, like, flown? No, that's not the word. Has flowed, flowed into your brain cavity. And once you've hit that point, you don't actually die. You actually become Australian. Uh, git commit dash A. And then it's going to be more numbers. Why is the reset even there? Uh, why is the re... Why is the reset there? The reset doesn't need to be there. What? I have a feeling that's... That's set up wrong. Uh, um... Yeah. Brody, is the Earth really flat? Uh, that is part of my uh, NDA as an actor. I cannot explain whether the Earth really is flat. Brody, are Australians any different from vampires? Once again, uh, I I am I am an actor. I am not allowed to explain uh, the uh, the uh, what's the word the the details of the Australian. The Australian conspiracy. Uh, reset sets your head back. That is something it does, yes. Uh, Brody, uh, somebody told me there are no direct flights from Australia to New Zealand. Is that true? Depends on where you're flying from, I guess. Are there no... No, surely. Well, maybe not right now. Um, but I'm... You should be able to fly from, like, Melbourne to, like, whatever the capital of New Zealand is. If you can't... Wait. Maybe the Earth really is flat. Uh, <laughs> I pushed something broken. We're talking about how to undo a commit. And fix uh, and fix it. Uh, this only helps when you haven't already pushed to a, uh, it to a remote. When that has happened, you want to undo the effects of the commit completely. The best option is to git revert. So if we do a git revert on that one, I guess. Revert very bad. So we've reverted that one and we've that pushes it further ahead. Then we can do a <clears throat> git push. Yay! I never do reverts. Whenever I, I I don't ever do reverts. Whenever I need to revert something, I just manually fix it. All the flights go through Africa or Europe when leaving Australia or leaving New Zealand. Uh, uh, I don't know what flights you've been looking at. Australia to New Zealand flight. Here we go. Uh, okay. Uh, cheap flights. There we go. From Adelaide to Auckland. Sure. One stop. We stop in Sydney. Uh, nope. Definitely, definitely no Africa here. Uh, um, unless Sydney is in Africa. Unless Melbourne is in Africa. <laughs> Checkout is like parachuting. Wait, what? Well, git revert is a thing? Is it any different from git reset head? Um, well, git revert 
just basically undoes that commit and just makes a new commit. Get revert versus reset. Actually, they might do the same thing. Brady, what is your thought? <laughs> when I said I wasn't going to do a video on Windows 11, someone asked me in the stream. Uh, I think that Windows 11 is Windows 10 with a slightly updated skin. But the reason why they made a new operating system rather than just doing a, like a, a Windows 10.1 Firstly, 11 is a bigger number than 10, therefore Windows is better than macOS. Uh, also, because of like how big of a design change they're making, uh, and even though you can move the start bar from the middle, you know, back to the left-hand side where it should be, a lot of corporate systems are going to just be running the default. And when you run the default at work, you're probably going to run the default on your home system as well. So having this default change is actually a really big thing and most people are going to be using Windows, you know, like it's a, a Mac system as as that seems to be the new design style they're going with. Apart from that, it's just Windows 10 with like, it's basically Windows 10 with a new service pack. That's all it really is. But they made the number bigger because 11's bigger than 10. And that's just marketing tactics to make you think that it's better than macOS. Oh my god, what a- Oh, we can zoom out. Who in their right mind makes a branch for every single commit? <laughs> Someone was asking about um, Reflog before. <laughs> okay, I guess it's being brought up. I did- I literally had no idea this command even existed. What in the world does Reflog do? Corporate malware is really a thing. Corporate software is corporate malware. Say you're going, uh, say you're looking at something in the past and then switch back to the main branch. Uh huh. But then you get really distracted, and after your lunch break, you can't remember on which commit in the past you uh, you were before. How can you find out? Uh, it's eleven because Gates will join the World Cup soon. Bra what? What? Bra what? What? Uh, there's a. Oh, I okay, didn't know that. Yeah. There's actually a couple of games for it. This one's just open source, which is funny. There's actually a couple of closed source games to learn Git, which is whatever. Um, there's a convenient command that shows you all the places your head did point to in the past. It's git ref log. Git ref ref log. Ah. I did not know this existed. That's really cool. Okay, so I guess git checkout and then that one. Where does it, wait, where does it want us to go? Git reflog. It would be nice if it sort of explained what was going on here. Uh, get revert and get reset is different because revert adds a new commit and does not change an old one. Therefore, you can push it to remote without forcing the push. Uh, did you see Luke's live stream? I saw like five minutes of it. I saw he was complaining that no one was there. I think, what, he had like 250 people watching when normally he has about a thousand. Um... But while he was streaming, I noticed that the views on my channel had, like, massively dropped. So my guess is that YouTube might have been broken in a couple of regions. That's the only thing that I can see to actually explain that. Because um, it's weird to see, like, both Luke's live stream and my channel having issues at the exact same time. That's kind of strange. And YouTube having issues is fairly normal. Um, let's see... <clears throat> he was talking about Baptist... <laughs> okay, I missed that part. Uh, Windows 11 exists. Linux users, behold, I don't care, Renata. Hey, it'll have a better version of WSL. WSL is important if you want people to uh, not use desktop Linux and just use Windows instead. Uh, check out moving from 3 to main. What in the world does it want me to check out here? Uh, 
Oh, I want me to check out three. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Workflows. Okay, this is not exactly a workflow. This is just cloning a repo. Oh, it's actually trying to... Oh, it actually does want us to do... Wow. Okay. Okay, it wants us to do actually a lot of stuff here. Uh, does w percent uh, prevent people switching to Linux? I think WSL gives people a reason that they don't need to switch to Linux. When are you going to use MUT? Uh, when Thunderbird stops doing everything I need it to do. I don't really... Like, okay, okay. The thing with terminal... Uh, terminal... Ter terminal email clients is that a lot of companies are very obsessed with sending a lot of HTML in their emails. If we lived in a time when everyone was still sending plain text, MUT would probably be amazing. Uh, we don't though, and yeah, I'd, I'd r much rather the emails actually render properly. So, Thunderbird it is. I, I know someone's probably gonna complain like, oh, would you use Thunderbird? You could use this GUI client instead. I like Thunderbird. It is nonsensically heavy, but it, I, I use a lot of the extra features. Uh, how about Mailspring? I feel like Mailspring's on my list. I haven't used it though. Let's see. Ooh, ah. Um, let's see. Mail Spring. No, Mail Mail Spring is on my list. I have not used it though. Definitely does. Unfortunately, I've seen people literally say they don't need Linux because of WSL. Well, you don't need Linux because of WSL. Like, if your workflow exists entirely around Windows, and you also happen to need some Linux, like, you you just don't need Linux because of that. It just does everything you need it to do. Um, yeah, okay. You can use W3M, I guess. Sure, if, you, if you're really obsessed with using... Uh, using... Mutt, I guess you could do that. It forces you to make a separate account for it to sync. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you, what you, what you mean there. Uh, your friend has a problem. Clone the repo. Git clone. Um. How's it? Can we just do git clone? Like. Oh god. It's just throwing up the door. Okay, why did it just. Why did it just throw up a massive thing of the documentation? What? Why is this here? Okay, sure. Um, how do we get the ID for this this repo? Uh, git clone. I can we like click here? How? Game. How do we get that ID? You haven't told us how to do this. Like, can we just like git clone friend? Is that a thing? Uh, game. You're not making this very very obvious. Okay, sure. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to, like... Oh, you have to do git clone double dot slash friend. What? Give us, like, a fake URL or something like that. I mean, if you don't care about Billy spying on your wifey discussions, WSL is a thing. Well, if you're, if you're already using Windows, you surely, like, don't really have much of a problem with it. Um, create a branch called Solution. Git branch Solution. Uh, and fix the problem in this branch. What is two... Oh, that's a hard one. Chat. What is two plus three? I think that's a... That's, that's going to be a difficult question. I'm going to guess it's five. Uh, git add... Dot git commit. Uh, oh, mate. Okay. Let's give it a thing. And we'll do git tag PR. Uh, 
and then uh game are you good get it doesn't want us to do uh it's sent up there Shrek 4 Shrek 4 thank you thank you for your input I'm not sure what it's complaining about for this one. Create a front. Git clone. Okay. Uh, wait, has it just... Oh, the game broke a little bit. It did... <laughs> it... 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 <laughs> It didn't load up the repo inside of, like, the visualization here. It's loaded up as a file. <laughs> good job, game. Good job. Oh, wait. Wait, did I not? Oh, my bad. Thank you. Git, uh, git checkout solution. How did I forget to do that? Cool. Um, get add dot, get commit, and then, up, and then, get tag PR. Okay, thank you. I missed that. Uh, honestly, I don't get the point of the Nagatoro anime. Just deck the chick across the face. Well, that's the whole point. He he actually likes being bullied. He's he's not like against it. Um, he just pretends like he is. Oh God, what it, what are we looking at here? <laughs> okay, uh, you can create the branch and check in and check it out in one go. Get get checkout dash b. Yes, you can. Uh, I just forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Please zoom out a bit with your mouse wheel. Oh no, you've lost your key at some point during the day. Uh, sure, you could look at every commit in an attempt to find it, but there's a better way. Your time machine has a built-in way to find the point in time where things went wrong quickly. First play, uh, first play the bisect start card. Okay. Git. How is your life? Uh, it could be worse. Okay. Then go to the commit where you don't have the key and play the bisect bad card. Go to a commit early on where you have the key in your pocket. Oh, what are we looking at here? Why? It's surely not going to make us check these commits, is it? <laughs> what? What is- why is it doing this to me? Okay, uh... Just take one of the first ones. No, it wants me to take the last good one. That's the thing. Unless it actually is just gonna... Gonna work for anything. Okay, you still have your key. Get check out. Okay, get check out. Uh, okay, get. This is annoying. <laughs> Actually, it's tab completion, doesn't it? Why? Why don't I just use that? Uh, let's jump to here. Oh, game. Why? Why are you annoying me like this? Okay, your pocket is empty. Uh, I'm guessing it'd be here then. Your pocket is empty, no. I'm just a little tired today. That's your that's honestly my only problem. It makes you pick a, a point hit in the history where you know everything worked, and then one where you know it broke, and then help you figure out the 
Oh. Oh, am I doing it wrong? Am I, am, am, am I completely forgetting the point of the bisect command? Okay. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, okay. I, I've literally never used bisect before. Okay, yeah. Well, you were just doing the Vitek manually by checking each commit. Right, okay. I completely missed the point then. Okay, so git bisect start. Okay. And then git check out this one. Git bisect bad. Wait, let's put the. Oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> I should read what it's saying before I, I start doing stuff. Okay. Git bisect. This is probably painful. People actually know how bisect actually works. Okay, there we go. Start it there. Cool. Then go here and go... Wait, then go... To commit where you don't have the key and play git bisect bad, right? Okay. Git bisect bad. Okay. It's okay, I also have trouble to form under pressure. <laughs> Likewise, go to commit early where you have the key in your pocket. Git check out. I should just do it as I'm actually um as I'm as I'm reading it. Okay, git. Bisect. Good. Ah. Huh. Okay. I did not know that was a thing. That's that's actually kind of kind of useful. Wait. Um, git reset dash dash hard, and then it was on that one. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Now check the file. Your pocket is empty. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, git bisect bad. Ah. Oh! Ah. That makes sense. I need your thoughts on Facebook. I think Facebook is is a meme. Okay, we want to do a git You still have your key? Okay. Bisect. Good. Okay. Ah, that's actually really useful. Okay, so that's the end of it. Yep, okay, cool. That's the end of it. Okay, that's actually really cool. Then git reset dash dash hard on that right there. Ha! Huh. I've never used the bisect command before. That is literally my first time using it. Okay. That 
That is really cool. I, I actually do like that. Um, I don't know when I would ever use it, but that's cool. Um, yeah. Oh, it even goes into stashing. Uh, actually, so we're at 2 hours and 20 minutes. Okay, I'm not going to go through the rest of the game. Because I think that'll take us over the three hour mark. But I'll, uh, I'll just have a quick look at what we actually have in here. Uh, so this is going to go into like how stashes work. Then I'll just go into like a bit of, I don't know, a Q&A or something for the last like half an hour. I will just chat for a bit. Uh, Nagatoro MC should renou renounce his balls and chop it up in the final episode. <laughs> uh, you can pop from the stash. Okay. You can clear the stash. Stashing is something else I've never, never used before. Branching the stash. Uh, merging the pop stash. In a real scenario, you would run your test every time, checking if the bug is still there. Ah, oh, right, you would use it to find a bug. Ah, so you basically, you use that to, like, work out where a bug was introduced. Now it goes into tags. Okay. Uh, removing tags. Tagging later. Oh, okay, just tag old commits, right. Uh, remote tags. Oh, okay, this gives you just a sandbox to mess around with. That's actually kind of useful. Sandbox with a remote. Oh, okay, so if you want to, like, sort of experiment with, um... <clears throat> what's the word? Experiment with, like, just messing around with the application. Uh, messing around with what Git can actually do. Uh, there is a sandbox mode. There's a sandbox mode here, but there's also a sandbox mode here as well. Which, I guess that one takes you to sandbox with, uh, with three commits. So I don't know why that's there as well. That's odd. Huh. Okay. That's really cool. Um, as we've established throughout this, there's a lot of things that I apparently um, don't know about Git that I thought I might have. Uh, <laughs> like, I didn't know anything about bisecting, and I didn't know anything about... Um, actually, I don't think I know that much about stashing either. I've never actually used that before. Um... There we go. Uh, then you can uh, you uh, then you get git blame yourself. Oh, it didn't mention git blaming. That's actually a really useful one that it probably should have gone over. Um. So yeah, I I, I honestly think that you sh if if you have anyone in your life who like needs to learn git for whatever reason. Uh, it's probably worth sending them to this website. Um, even if it's just, like, as one of the resources they have, I think that it's at least worth it in in some way to at least give them a bit of experience like that. Uh, what do you think of Instant OS? Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried it. Um, but let's find out what Instant OS is. Instant OS. Uh, tables are all you need. Shaking my head at Zoomers. No, no, no there's, there's, no, there's no, no Zoomer thing here. Like, devs since, like, the 80s have been using source code management. <laughs> since the birth of computers, people have been using source code management. Um, have you ever used Git Kraken? Last time I used it, couldn't open the Linux kernel repo. <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't know about Git Kraken until this stream. Um, what one is it? It's five. There we go. I've actually set up hotkeys now so I can, you know, stream properly. <laughs> it took me ages to set up hotkeys, but I finally did it. Uh, Instant OS has lots of functionality. Wow, that's crazy. Who would expect an OS to have lots of functionality? Uh, that goes beyond a normal desktop environment like tiling and instant assist. Ultra lightweight. Let's watch this video. What 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 makes Instant OS so cool? Uh That is a massive border. What the hell? Okay, you have FCF, crazy. Um Is that a what is that what is that bar? Looks like a poly bar.
Not Japanese game companies in the 1990s. Many of the so game source code has been lost. Japan is like... Oh. Oh, okay. Now I know what Instant OS is. Right. It's the one that DT trashed, didn't he? Okay, yeah, I do know what this is. It's like instant coffee. You put it... Uh, you put the burned ISO in uh, milk and you get a working computer. <laughs> Now that's Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the uh, the instant OS. Um, like I said before, the idea is food, but it misses the point to make a connection to real use cases. The idea is food. Mmm. Okay. The idea is good, I think is what you're trying to say. Right, you fixed it later on. The idea is food. Yeah, that's, that's one of the, the big things that's missing. The sandbox is nice, but it would be nice before the sandbox to have, like, hey... Here is like an a work any sort of workflow. Like there are standard Git workflows that could have been talked about. It would have been nice if one of those was in the application. Um It's not lost. I have the source code on my cell phone SIM card. <laughs> yeah, on your SIM card. I I'm sure it's on your SIM card. How much data can a SIM card actually store? Let's find out. How much data? Can a SIM card hold? Uh, SIM cards can come in various data capacities from 8 kilobytes to at least 256 kilobytes. Uh, all can store a maximum of 250 contacts on the SIM. Okay, I didn't know that. Ubuntu is responsible for 100% of all college dropouts because you cannot install the internet. I know exactly what video you're talking about. I know exactly which video you're talking about. Um, Ubuntu College. It's a Ubuntu College Girl. Yes. This video. Um, well, odds are you... Wait, give me a second. Um, whoop. There we go. Don't use the word Ubuntu very often, or maybe not at all. It's a type of operating system for your computer, similar to Windows. I love this Windows. video. It's right. It is not Windows, and what works on Windows doesn't always work on Ubuntu. And that's what's going to the game. Uh, no, we're going to skip past your intro music. This is at MATC. I'm so glad we could help this woman, because she called us specifically because she wanted to be able to go take those courses at MATC, and she bought a new laptop to dude. be able to do that. That's when she called me. She thought her laptop was coming with Windows. Instead, she got that thing called Ubuntu. Pronunciation was the least of her problems. It has just been a mess, and um, uh. I regret ordering the computer. Abby Schubert's life was supposed to start getting easier with this new Dell laptop. I had American news shows this so stupid. Yeah, well, that's true about every news clear. show, to be honest. It's not. The main purpose I bought the computer was to go back to school. She wanted to enroll in online classes at MATC. That's on hold, and she blames Dell. She bought the $1,100 laptop online, thinking she was getting your standard bread and butter machine. It defaulted to the Ubuntu operating system. She can say Next day, well, she realized what happened and tried to change back to Windows. The um, person I was talking to told me everything that Ubuntu would you know, it was great. Yeah, Ubuntu's best operating system. Loved it, and it was compatible with everything that I needed. So mm. she took Dell's advice and stuck with it. It literally says, like, on the product page, it's running Ubuntu. Like, it literally says on the product page, it's running Ubuntu. <laughs> like, the fact that she bought it is entirely her own fault. Every person talking in this video is dumb. This is true. This is a very true, this is a very true fact. True fact. Uh, when will we get a face reveal? Uh, I don't know, Shrek. When will we get a, a face reveal? Uh, hmm. Are, are you calling me a lizard? Are, are you saying that I'm a lizard right now? Uh, she's crazy. Cringe. Yeah, man. Cringe. Every, everything is cringe. Uh, oh, man. It just hurts so much when people who have no clue talk about tech stuff. A lot of pol politicians do it as well. Uh... Well, there's a couple of YouTubers that do it as well. Uh, <laughs> there might be a couple of YouTubers in the Linux space who like to talk about things they have absolutely no idea uh, about whatsoever. 
not naming any names. Um, are you using vanilla Git or a Rust implementation? Are you messing with me right now? And they're actually Rust implementation. Wait, that's not a that's not a thing. That's that's not a thing. That's that can't be a thing. Rust written in uh, so Rust written in Git. Git written in Rust. No, this is not a thing. <sighs> Git Oxide, an idiomatic, lean, fast, and safe, pure Rust implementation of Git. Can we? Can we just not? Can Can this just not exist? This is not a thing that anybody asked for or anybody needed get rs oh there's uh, there's more than one of them don't be shy drop the names we all know who i'm talking about um why this is not a thing that needs to exist i say as i go to put it on my list of video topics so i can talk about things that don't need to exist hmm Rust causes damage. Always say no to Rust. Uh, get written in Rust. Why? Just, just, just stop Rust developers. Like of all things, of all things that you could re-implement, why, why, why did you do it to Git? That's a lot of effort. I'll give you that. It's, it's absolutely a lot of effort to do that. Um, yo, K Zhang, how you doing? Uh, how long does something like this take? I'd also like, I also like to try, but I have no idea what sort of time I need to make. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what's what's wrong with Git? Isn't it already easy to use? I remember Linus said something similar to this. Git is not a tool, it's a bunch of APIs. Just imagine we type Twitter API manually in terminal type tweet. <laughs> My god. <laughs> when you take... Okay, right? You don't have to take everything that Linus Torvalds takes as, like, gospel. Just because Linus Torvalds said something doesn't mean that, like, it's something you have to live your entire life by. Git is a tool... It's not a bunch of APIs. Just shut up. Mm. Why did you stream so early? We're just waking up in the West Coast. Uh, because I, I stream for the Europeans. Uh, you missed the message, but talking about Rust, there's a tiling window manager called library written in Rust. Wait. A, a tiling window manager... Oh. Tiling window manager library written in Rust. Why is library capitalized? Why did you do that? Uh, written in Rust called Penrose. So the uh, they are is website that that randomly generates. What does that? What, what did you just say? I don't know what you just said. Uh, a daily reminder that language zealots are mentally ill. <laughs> there is a website that randomly generates Git man pages. What? Uh... I don't know if you can send the link, but if you can, uh, I would appreciate said link. What is that? What are... Well, like randomly just selects Git man pages and just shows them to you. Is that is that what you're saying? That's why. Why is that, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing that exists? I'm sorry for capitalizing the library. I'm a capitalist, I guess. That's almost as bad as Ronson's fishing joke in my other stream. No, I know. I'm. You know what? That is just as bad. I hate library. What's wrong with library? Uh. I know there are like other implementations of Git as well. Send it in his Discord or his Twitter. Or yeah. I well, okay, sometimes you can send links. That's the weird thing. But I don't know what 
like YouTube's criteria for allowing links actually is. It seems like they just decide on like a case by case basis whether links are actually going to be allowed today. Uh, I I don't have any control over that. Like I I can just say I don't want any links, but when it comes to like some links, like I I I, I don't have nothing I can do. It's full of conspiracy theorists and white nationalists. Uh, have you been on the internet before? That's just the internet. Like, if, if that's what you're going to decide whether you use a website based on, like, just, just unplug your modem. <laughs> like, every website has them. TikTok has them. YouTube has them. Twitter has them. Uh, yeah, like, that, that's the internet. YouTube also, wait, uh, so yeah, Penrose is the tiling window manager library written in Rust. Use that library in Rust and Rust code to do your own tiling window manager. NixOS is the new Gen 2. Does that mean Gen 2 is the new NixOS? Does that mean Will is going to start sh uh, shilling, uh, shilling G uh, Gen 2 to me then? Uh, YouTube also randomly decides not to let me type in the word trap even when I'm not <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is with YouTube just blocking random words. Okay, well, you must be using a different internet. No, I'm using the internet that's been here the entire time. Uh, like, you can get rid of people on certain websites, but they'll always be there in, like, the, the dark corners. Uh, you post a link in the Discord. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, where did that appear? Wait, did I even... That didn't even open the link. What the hell? There we go. Much better. Um, oh, okay, it actually just does, does do that. Okay, sure. So this is Git Submerge Garbage Collector. I didn't even know that was a thing. Manifest which reflog and config last submerge the remotes of a Git, of, of a garbage collector, optionally checking non-cherry picked upstream mailing list. What does that even, what does that mean? What is, what are, what are these words, what do these words mean? Oh, so these are like... Okay, so it's like made up uh, man pages. Right, okay. Git expropriate delta. What am I looking at? This is... It's a joke. Right. Git critique parent. Aha. Now the, now the site makes even less sense. It made sense when I was thinking it was like showing you actual man pages, but now it's like generating fake man pages. Uh... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why it exists. Why so serious? Yeah, man. Why so serious? Chill out a bit. Have some fun. Hello, I just found out about Gitless. It's a drop-in replacement for Git. Is it written in Rust? Gitless. I'm gonna say Rust or Go. It is written in... Why? Why is it written in Python? Why did what? Why? 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 Uh, Gitless is a version control system built on top of Git. It is easy to learn and use. Why not use Git? Wait, so it's implemented on top of Git. So it's like, it's a Git GUI, but it's in a CLI. Okay, I'll put it on my list. Um. Uh, video ideas? Now this is turning into a video idea stream. It's a git rap- yeah, git wrapper, I guess. But also written in Python. Why is it- why is a git wrapper written in Python? Um... Very strange. People make weird things. Uh, Botsman t-shirt? Wow, someone managed to guess it. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, you, you you are right. In um, well, I've also got a uh, an Alpha Energy T-shirt around as well. Uh, I was wearing that one yesterday. Um, that's a Lewis Spears one. I'm gonna wrap it up in brain, brain F U Q. I'm not gonna say that because I like my money on this channel. Have you tried Gitia? Isn't Gitia? Wait, is, is Gitia the 
the like chat client that's that like it looks like Slack. Get here. I'm I I vaguely or am I thinking of something else? Oh no, Gidea is a self-hosted Git. No, I'm thinking of Giddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, OpenBSD is the most based BSD distro. I honestly know nothing about BSD. So, like, I'm just going to take your word for it. Uh, I have not tried Giddy, But, uh, on the list it goes. I think... I think HexDSL did a video on it recently. Um, I know Hex has been on like a, like a, a, a self-hosting sort of binge lately. What is this game I just got here? <laughs> we already finished the game. Um, wait, I pressed the wrong thing. There we go. Right, there we go. So actually, I'll, I'll just open up the website just for anyone who is new. So the game it was called Oh My Git. Basically, it was teaching you like the general sort of Git workflow. Uh, we got most of the way through it. Uh, we'll mute the sound. Here we go. Did you know the Git is actually a time machine? Yeah, I thought he did. You can go back in time. Wow. Wow. There we go. I didn't have the name of the song on screen. Uh, the difference between BSD and GNU Linux is mostly licensing. The BSD license allows... Or, okay, well, saying BSD license doesn't really have much of a meaning because there's, like, various forms of the BSD license. Um, but, like, generally, it allows proprietary uh, relicensing. Um, Windows is insecure and slow. What's your point? Wait, what? What was that in reference to? I have no idea what you're what that's in reference to. Uh bro, what is that bloat free text editor? Mate, my my vim is the opposite of bloat free. My vim is like my vim is pure bloat. <laughs> have you tried Lokinet? I don't have any idea for Lokinet. I'm gonna say Lokinet. Lokinet probably makes more sense. I have no idea what that could possibly be. Uh, anonymous internet access. Is this a VPN? Uh, browse privately, block surveillance, discover private websites, decentralized network, un uh, Tor? Tor stuff. You still work in that supermarket? Yes, I am. In a nutshell, BSD versus GNU slash Linux uh, noob here. YouTube, yeah, YouTuber merch is great, man. Don't hate on the, the YouTuber merch. Well, well, I had um, <clears throat> I had, I had, I had. It, here we go. Um, oh wait, there we go. I was wearing, I was wearing this this hoodie before. Wow, I uh, there we go. The Iron Mouse hoodie. There we go. Wow, it's lovely. I love it. Great, great hoodie. Um, <clears throat> but now it's too warm to wear a hoodie. Even though it's probably like six degrees. Uh, <clears throat> support the YouTubers you like. It's like tour. Okay. Uh, how old is he? I am 23. Uh, onion routed traffic... FAQ. Let's look at the FAQ. Do you use Tor? I do not. Uh, what can I do with LokiNet? Shall I zoom in so you guys can see it? Uh, LokiNet can do... Wait, you can do the internet and you can do... Wow, you can do everything. Um, I would feel deeply ashamed to wear any VTuber merch. That's because you haven't gotten past the shame stage yet. That's the boring stage. You have to like... You have to like... Embrace, embrace the inner weave and just become a a reborn creature. Uh, is LokiNet a VPN? LokiNet is not a VPN. It uses exit nodes similar to for similar functionality to your VPN. Uh, okay, is 
How is Loki net different from Tor? Uh, are both onion routers? That I I don't even know what an onion router actually means. Uh, that would be my first start. I don't like VTuber. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to like VTubers. Uh, Brody is clearly an enlightened being. <laughs> sure, that that's that, that's how we'll describe it. Let's go with that. Um, I don't know what I'm reading here. <laughs> I would love to do a video. Camera's here. I would love to do a video on this. Um, I I just don't really know what to say. If you want someone who actually possibly understands what in the world's going on here, uh, see if you can get like Mental Outlaw to talk about it. I'm sure like he actually seemed to have a much better understanding about the networking side. I my, my networking knowledge is a fairly surface level knowledge, um, but. Kenny seems to actually have a deeper understanding about that. He seems like he's more interested in, in like, private networking sort of stuff like that. I But it's difficult to get in contact with Kenny. So, like, I don't know. Spam his YouTube comments or something. I don't know. Onion Rao is just the middle server... Just the service in the middle between you and your target. Right. So, it's... Okay, I get the joke now. So it adds an extra layer. So it's an, it's like an onion. Right, that makes sense. I thought there was more to it. So it's basically just like a man in the middle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. Okay. I thought there was more to it than that. Well, on the technical side, I'm sure there's like more to it than that. But like that specific part um, doesn't seem as complicated as I as I thought it actually was. Hmm. Uh, Mental Outlaw is an amateur. He's, his video about an old exploit yesterday was misinformation. I did not see it. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, I need, I need to just explain something. YouTube, can you stop doing this? Just, like, I know that I am live right now. I know I'm live right now because I'm the one streaming. You don't need to put this like on my like YouTube front page. Just stop doing that. Anyway, um Ah, oh, it's okay. No, we're not going to watch an ad. I really turned off after a Stormwind video. Uh, let's see. Uh, a flaw was found in Polkit when requesting process disconnects from Dbus Daemon just before the call to Polkit. Uh, lots of nonsense here. Hey, at least it actually gets discovered. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch the video afterwards. Um... What exactly was um what exactly was wrong with this video? I'm not gonna watch it right now, but what um what 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 misinformation did he provide? Was it something like super major, or was it just like, hey, it's uh it's like a slight problem that <laughs> I just looked at his his uploads and um he's got a video here called How to Cook Meatballs. Uh, Ez... Eznix. Uh, clickbait FUD. Exploiting Linux fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Uh... This dude uploaded three videos in a day. Jesus. Okay. Uh, he made the exploit seem catastrophic when it was really nothing, just a local exploit. Mm-hmm. Okay. He never promoted himself as an expert. Hmm. That's why I, I try to stick to stuff where I... I generally know, like... I generally know enough to talk about it as like a... I, I generally know enough to actually talk about what I'm trying to talk about. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't... 
there's, there's a reason why I skip out on a lot of topics like this, because I just don't feel like I have the, I guess, the required knowledge to properly explain if something's actually a problem or not. Uh... He did the same thing in his credit card video, fear, fear mongering. What was his credit card video? Ah, credit card fraud is this easy. Why your cards aren't secure? Let's see. I don't actually watch that many. I guess I haven't watched that many recently. Maybe he has been making some mistakes recently. Then. Uh. He's going to convince these children not to use a credit card when it's essential to building credit. Take the information judge of yourself, wants it to be spoon-fed, and complains about bite portions. Uh, when paying with a card in Germany, it's custom to never leave the card. Wait. Laughs in 2 of and being broke. Uh... Get, get identity theft insurance. I knew you were a shield for insurance companies. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Maybe he has been uh, going down a certain path recently. One thing I've noticed, actually, uh, about with, with DT's videos, I don't know what's going on with DT's channel right now, but he seems like he's sort of trying to take over, I guess... Take over Luke's spot in the in the Linux world. Like a lot of the videos he's been doing recently are like very Luke-esque videos. Like if we go back to like his older um, his older stuff when he actually did do um, did do Linux videos, a lot of the stuff recently has like sort of been very much like if Luke had done it, but because it's but because it's like it's it's a DT video, it just seems weird. There's a lot, okay, there's a lot of people who shouldn't use credit cards, people who are very bad at managing their money, but, yeah, credit cards are incredibly useful. Um, if you have, uh, if you have, uh, yeah, money spending problems, you're the sort of person who shouldn't have a credit card. Like, if you're the, at the point where you're, like, you know, going over how much money you actually have in your bank account, that's a problem. DT's beef with word processors was hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's why I'm considering doing a reply video to it. Like, like some of the points he made, just like, okay, I, I get, I get from like an individual perspective, not wanting to use a, a, not wanting to use a word processor. Perfectly fine. I typically don't. But I think there's a problem with a lot of the people in the Linux world. I've sort of suffered from the exact same problem. I am by no means like immune to this. When you surround yourself with nothing but people who use a terminal, who live in a window manager, who, you know, use Linux in like the most minimal way possible, a lot of people sort of assume that everyone's like that and everyone's as tech savvy with computers as they are. And I think a lot of people sort of need to step back a little bit and look at how regular people are actually using their computers and i think that'll sort of give you a better perspective on what actually is a bad idea because calling word processors evil and saying they shouldn't exist is just it's just a bad take it's one thing to say that docx shouldn't exist a, a standard like docx is really dumb we should just be using open standards for our documents but the whole concept of a word processor isn't, isn't a bad thing by itself. Um, uh, let's see. Rossman notes how his videos have gone from board repair videos uh, to complain about, how, about New York City's crumminess and such. He occasionally does a board repair video. Once every so often. Uh... Not sure you're aware, but this isn't Mental Outlaws channel. Uh... Wait, what? 
Why is there a point to discuss anything? Just keep everything in your head. Never communicate. Got it. Not sure if you're aware, but critique and judgment are how we move forward. I like trains. That's a that's a, a joke that some people uh <laughs> some people might be too young to get. Actually, my audience is mainly older than me. I don't. The, I, I think. I think maybe like 10% of the, my audience is like under 18. Wow, there's someone here on D Live. Wow. Is he flipping me off? Oh, wow. That's uh, that's what a great website. What a great website D Live is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. Um,. I like pizza. Pizza's pretty good. I, I might go get a pizza for lunch tomorrow. There's a really good pizza shop near my place. Um, they, like, make everything fresh. Don't, like, I I don't understand why you would ever go to, like, a Domino's or a Pizza Hut when, like, there are independent pizza stores that exist that make better pizza. Like, go to an independent store. It's not like the, the multi-billion dollar companies need your money. They'll be fine. Guys, guys, guys. It's just a YouTube comment, okay? It's just a YouTube comment. You don't need to fight about it. We can we can all be friends here. Uh, I'm going to binge watch Brody's videos this weekend. That's cool. I'm probably gonna play some more Dead Cells. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dead Cells and uh, maybe some Hades. Is that the Chinese website with the cryptocurrency scam? Be a bit more specific about that. That's a that's a lot of a lot of the cryptocurrency scams. Yeah, the scary looking pizza shop that actually sells good pizza. Hmm. Uh, am I supposed to exercise the authority you gave me or leave this shit alone? Uh, they're not doing anyone else any harm. They'll be fine. You you could time them out if you wanted to. That would be kind of funny. D live, yeah man, D live. Isn't any decent independence near me? Oh, that's too sad. Um, yeah. I, I hope there's some good independent food near you. And you're not stuck with just going with, like, the the big, massive corporate fast food chains. I'm in a fairly good spot. There's, like, a real... Uh, there's, like, basically anything I could want. There are independent stores around me. And all of their food is better than the chains. Like, if I want Chinese food, if I want pizza, if I want Greek, if I want... Actually, I don't think there's a Mexican place near me. Ma there might be. I don't know. Uh, but basically, anything I, I, I could possibly want, there is an independent store that's good. I, I no, I think the only Mexican food near me would be, like, Zambreros, which is a massive chain. Uh, 100% a good pizza is so much better. Chinese websites, cryptocurrency schemes. Now it's a big yikes. Man, that's... <laughs> Look, cryptocurrency is just the, the world... Of, it's the world for the scammers. Who leaves the house anymore? Just order delivery. I don't want to pay delivery drivers, man. I, I don't. I'll, I'll go drive somewhere, get the food there. Maybe I'll call ahead, but I... I, I I'll, just, I'll just go there. Like... I, I'm sure in places where, like, you know... There's a lot of cases. It's probably something you don't want to do. But, like, uh, South Australia, like, has zero cases. Like, literally zero cases. <laughs> like, uh, th there's just nothing here. So I'm fine to go outside. Um, Gordon Ramset. I'm thinking that, uh, that's, that's supposed to be Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay makes my pizza. And he, and he just, does he call you an idiot sandwich? The D&D &D life stands for dicks. Dick Live. I got featured on the homepage of D Live the other uh, the other day, and when I got featured on the homepage, I got an extra zero viewers, which was cool. I appreciated I appreciated the support I was getting from the D Live community. I need to go to a pizza store next to a university I attended. Uh, that had good pizza. That's cool. My, uh, my campus had very expensive food, and the food was very mid. But if you walked off the campus, you'd get some pretty good food. 
Campus food's always expensive, though. Like, even if there's just a, a chain there, they'll, like, up their prices because it's it's a campus. Uh, what state slash territory are you in? I am in South Australia. It's not a secret. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I live in South Australia. I grew up in Queensland, but I was, I was born here. Uh, and I probably will be here for quite a while. I don't have any plans to move interstate. When I do... I want to buy my own place in like maybe a year or two, uh, which will be lovely. So I'm going to start building up my credit rating, get that all dealt with, then probably buying a place in the like one, 160 to 200k range. Uh, and yeah, then we'll, we'll have we'll have our own space, which will be lovely. So since the human malware hit, I haven't gone there. Yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. I, I want my own, I do want my own place. That would be so so lovely. Um, and there's some really nice places um, in the area I used to live for fairly cheap. Like as I said, the the 160 to 200k range. Uh, and I've got the deposit and everything, so it's just a matter of sorting out my credit rating to actually get the mortgage. Because uh, I can already pay. Um, I can yeah I can already pay like the how much it's going to cost the the the. The, the mortgage itself, getting getting the mortgage approved though, is what I need to do. Uh, I'm glad you use DLive. I don't have a Google account. I sort of guessed that from your name. Yeah, I'm I'm streaming on YouTube, Twitch, and DLive. I would stream on more, but I don't have other things. And also, it will cost me money on um on 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 restream that one. You can't get a letterbox in Victoria for that. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't live in Vic don't live in Melbourne. Melbourne's a horrible place to live. <clears throat> uh, if there's anyone from Melbourne here, uh, I don't apologise. Your your city's actually horrible uh, and very expensive. Brady got rich from Bitcoin. Uh, I I certainly didn't lose money. That's for sure. <laughs> I certainly did not lose money. We're currently having a discussion about credit cards in the Matrix room. Dogecoin millionaire, probably. Uh, yes, it is. But like like Silicon Valley, it also costs you an arm and a leg to live there. So, like, why isn't Doge moving? Uh, because the crypto market is very, very worried right now. And doesn't know what in the world's happening. I am not a financial advisor. Uh, do not take my advice as financial advice. Uh, Melbourneite here, I concur. Being a miz a my miz is a great way to save money. I'm not sure what you're saying. One of my best friends is in Melbourne. Your friend is probably a great person, but like that doesn't change the fact the city is insanely overpriced. My argument is that credit cards are horrid for privacy, and if you really want privacy, that you shouldn't use them. I respect people that that W. That won't? That work? I don't know what I'm saying. Elon needs to work harder. You play COD MW2. I have played it offline. Um, I have played it offline, but the COD I got into the most was Black Ops 2. I played that basically the entire time it was out, uh, and I got Prestige 10 within like the first week. <laughs> That's how much I was playing it. Because I was like 16 at the time, so I just had nothing but time to play the game, basically. <clears throat> Who's using a Rust home server? Is there a good Rust home server? I I know most people just use the, um, the main home server. Uh... Mm. My argument is that credit cards are horror for privacy, and if you really want to, if you really want privacy, you shouldn't use them. I respect people that want to use them, but I don't think they should be required. Well, they're not required, really, unless you, like, need to make a massive purchase. For some reason, your bank just has, like, a stupid limit you can't change. University food has always been horrid. It's basically added college tax because college wants more money. Well, luckily, it, with any decent, like, college or university town... You can walk like five minutes out of campus and there'll be better food there for cheaper. Never buy food on campus. Just don't do it. If you're going to get food on campus, then just 
bring food from home. It's just easier and cheaper. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Um. Why? Why? <laughs> I. Are we are we talking about this video? I, I I think I know exactly what video you're referring to. That is a great video. I I highly recommend it. Um, yes. Well, I just got here. Stream about to end. I've been I've been chatting like this for about half an hour, so I it will end when I decide to have it end. Oh yeah. Also, usually I drink on these streams. The reason I'm not drinking, um, is because I've been sick all week. And I don't want to get sick again. So, like, I'm, I'm just trying to conserve my throat. That sounds weird. I'm trying to conserve my throat. Uh, yeah. I'm not trying to ruin my throat like uh, I, I, I do every other stream. So, like, next week I'll probably drink again. But this this time I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a chill, basically. Uh, it's already been three hours. It has been. It's just a matter of when I decide to click stop streaming. Minecraft stream when? Hmm. If I do stream Minecraft, it'll be over on the gaming channel. Oh yeah, I guess. You know what? I'll 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 give myself a shout out. Um. Go go. If if you're not already subscribed to the Twitch, I have a Twitch. So this, here we go. Whoa, it's Twitch. Thirty nine followers. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, also have a um. The other gaming channel, the uh, the YouTube gaming channel. Mind test, yeah. I did stream mind test on this channel. I I, I kind of I feel like I gave mind test like a really bad a really bad showing because of how bad it was running on my system. Um I kind of want to give it another proper shot. Here you go. Uh if you want gaming content. Uh I updated my banner and the banner's just disappeared now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to fix that, I guess. But yeah, I have a gaming channel where I stream games. I also upload YouTube shorts of the games. And some of them do really well. Some of them don't get in the YouTube shorts algorithm. And they're also in uh, vertical video because that's how you have to make YouTube short, DT. I don't care what you have to say about it. You have to make them as a vertical video. That is just the rule. Have a look at Post Market OS. Or play Brogue CE. What is Brogue CE? Let's find out. Let's find out what this is. This is... Uh, Brogue CE. Bro Brogue Community Edition. A community-led fork of the much-loved... Oh, it's a minimalist roguelike. Uh-huh. Okay. Did you know there's a Matrix client for the 3DS? I did know that. Yes, I, I I know that's a thing. I don't know why it's a thing, but it, yes. The 3DS has such a weird homebrew community. Like, there's so much just... There's just so much stuff available for the 3DS. If you play Minecraft minigames, you can't play Hypixel right now. I was, I was watching a video... Um... I was watching a video earlier today about, like, the different kinds of Minecraft players, and I'm guessing you're the guy who, like, bothers everyone about playing on Hypixel. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for the Temple OS phone. It just... Look, Temple OS phone is just go by, uh... <laughs> just go... No, you know what? Send a letter. Send a letter. That's, that's Temple OS. Um... What was the video called? Types of Minecraft players by, uh, by Mick Yum. Go watch Mick Yum's channel. It's a fun channel if you like Minecraft videos. Don't ask why I watch Minecraft videos. I don't even play the game. I'm just like, I want to watch Minecraft videos. Like, you know, about the, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Mario 64 in 3D on 3DS is pretty cool. The 3DS was such a weird console because... Most games didn't use the 3D aspect, and the games that did, you didn't want to use it anyway because it was just really disorientating. It was just not a good... It was just not a good system whatsoever. 
Yeah, man. 2B2T. Uh, do you stream programming over on Twitch? I have done a programming stream. And it wasn't very good. The, the problem I find with programming streams is it's very hard to, like, get work done and also talk to chat. I find that if you're doing one or the other, at least in my case, I can't really maintain focus on both of them and actually get anywhere productive. So, I don't think I'll do another programming stream. M maybe I'll do something in the future. But I, I don't have any plans at this stage. No, he only streams pro gaming. Yeah, man. Where I die in dead cells in literally the first five minutes of the stream. Absolute elite gamer right there. You will never see anyone as elite as I am. This has been the weirdest YouTube chat I've ever seen. Uh, what you? What you? What you? What, what you, what you? Uh... People have made a Vim version of, for everything except Matrix. Oh, what do you do at uni? Uh, I graduate. I did a software engineering degree. I did that for four years. And then I finished that at the uh, end of last year. And now I, uh, I, 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 I just make YouTube videos and work at the supermarket. So I'm, I'm putting my degree to good use, as we can see. Or died at Cloud Strife multiple times in Kingdom Hearts. That is also something I do. Look, it is all the Crystal streams the world will ever need because it's the entire game. The entire horribly boring game that shouldn't have been that long. Uh, but yeah, I played it all. Maybe I need to play a good game on stream like, I don't know, Nino Kuni Revenant Kingdom or something. Maybe I should go play some Newgrounds games. Maybe like mini clip. Yeah, man. Let's go to a mini clip stream. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, I did four years of software engineering. And now I'm here making YouTube videos. Or Terraria. Yeah, man. If I do Terraria, that's something that's just never going to end. I'm thinking of... Um... I'm thinking of swapping up my game streams and doing like maybe Celeste in the... Uh... The Dead Cells spot. I'm still going to play Dead Cells like off stream. So I can still jump back into it whenever. But I'm thinking of changing out something for that stream. Uh, did you try looking? Uh, not right now. Now I'm good. What I realized in my last year of uni is. I love software engineering. But like. I don't know. If I, I I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to do it as a job. We'll see what happens. Right now I'm paying my bills. Right now I'm paying my bills. So. I don't need to worry about anything. I'm not the sort of person who's like, I want to I wanna make lots of money. As long as I'm paying my bills and I'm good, we're good. Um, we'll see what happens in like a year or two though. Maybe maybe the YouTube stuff just collapses under my feet and I have to go like get a real job. Uh, but for now, we're doing this. And now he's living the embodiment, in the embodiment of computer science grad meme. Yeah, oh, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Let's see if we can find it. Join me in my platforming pain. Uh... Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Uh... No, I know the one you're talking about. Um... Mm hmm. Celeste does sound like a lot of fun, though. It sounds like so much fun. I'm going to suffer. Suffer so much. Uh, Minecraft community is the biggest repellent for Minecraft. I did hear about the thing with um, with uh, Tommy in it recently. And, like, I, I, don't un I don't understand how the Minecraft community manages to exist with, like, by just destroying itself. Do you watch Paolo from Tokyo? Paolo from Tokyo? No, I have no idea who this is. Uh, it's a guy who makes videos from Tokyo, I guess. Uh, no, I don't. The only, like, Japanese 
um, vloggy channel I watch is Chris Abroad. Or Abroad in Japan. I say Chris Abroad. Chris Broad. Abroad in Japan. There we go. The comp side grass I uh, grads I know are making over 100k. Well, yeah, I could be making a ton of money. Um, what happened with Tommy in it? Uh, I honestly don't know. He said... I think he, like, he made a joke about J-Slat, and then, like, people freaked out, and then he got, like, attacked for, like... Oh, he just got attacked a bunch on Twitter, and then he's like, I just don't like Twitter, I'm just gonna not be on Twitter now. And he's like, yeah, I'm also gonna go get therapy, because you guys are absolutely insane, and are ruining my, uh, my mental health. Stream MC with a mod pack you can program on stream and play. I should stream with like the tur uh, the uh, what is it turtle mod and just do turtle programming all stream. Have you seen the sent Dex video where he plays on a neural net that emulates GT? What the no what? <laughs> I have not seen that. Playing a neural net version of GTA 5 Grand. What in the world? That sounds awesome. Okay. Why it's called engineering when there are no engines involved? Checkmate atheist. I'm sure there is like a a if someone explains the like root of the term engineer, you, someone can probably explain explain how engine comes off of that word. Computer craft site and open computers are great fun. I have used mod packs that had them and just never used them before. I think, didn't, doesn't Feed the Beast have it? I'm pretty sure Feed the Beast has it. And I played Feed the Beast, like, back years ago, before there was even, like, a, a Feed the Beast launcher. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I don't understand, I don't understand, like, the, the whole standing thing. Like, I just... If I see people in my audience doing that, it's just like, stop being weird. Like, I'm just a normal person. I don't understand, like, why you would want people praising you as a god. That seems, like, just, just odd. Like, I, I'm just a, I'm just a dude. Especially in, like, the Minecraft world. Like, you're, you're playing Minecraft. Like, you're, you're an adult playing a game made for children. Like, you're, you're nothing special. Uh... Yesterday I saw someone drop $2,000 worth of alcohol. Were they working in the store or were they just... Were they just like dropping it off and they bought it? Hey, Forsty... Forsty... Faustin? Faustin. I'm not sure. Uses Linux, does YouTube, I'm a normal guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess that that's fair. Every YouTuber has to be like at least somewhat narcissistic. But I at least try to like keep it in check. You know, and not be, not be someone who, um, not be someone who is insufferable to listen to. I'm already insufferable enough from my accent. I don't need to be insufferable from my personality as well. I, I think I'm doing a good enough job at that. God, Factorio would be such a painful stream. I've already streamed Mindustry before. I, I can't imagine Factorio being any easier for you guys to watch or for me to play. <laughs> you forgot Massive Weeb just Linux. Yeah, okay, the Massive Weeb is also a mess. Uh, Light Yagami doesn't mind being seen as a god. Right, but you shouldn't be basing your your entire life around a psychopath. Like, stop basing your life around Ted Kaczynski. Stop basing your life around Light Yagami. It's the exact same thing. My accent is cute. That's obviously a lie. Personally, I'll never play Minecraft. Is it because it's proprietary? Is it, is, it, is, is, is it because it's proprietary software? And we don't we don't like proprietary software around here. Everything must be free software. Ted is our uncle. Don't base your life around an actual psychopath. It's a very bad way to live your life. I... 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 I was going to say I can speak from experience, but no, I can't. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. <clears throat> mm, why am I still streaming? You sound like a fake Aussie. Yeah, man. I am the fakest Aussie on the planet. I don't know why anyone would think I'm actually Australian. Like, 
that's the that's the dumbest shit you can ever ever possibly come up with. Uh, Ted peeled. Nah, he doesn't sound fake. Yeah, man, exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll never eat chip the same. I'll never eat. I'll never eat chip the same. Oh yeah, right, chip scene. Right, I forgot about the chip scene. Chip scene's great. Honestly, it's great in both English and Japanese. The English version is better. Uh, how's Dylan doing? Uh, I spoke to him in a stream the other day. Um, apart from that, I haven't really seen him. On that weeb note, prove it with a Majo Turi. What is Majo Turi? What is this? Uh, Majo Turi is... What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. Huh, I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Uh, what would Uncle Yakumi do? <laughs> uh, he knew what the Minecraft community is like and still chose to be Minecraft YouTube. He deserves it, to be honest. Honestly, no one... The, the Minecraft community doesn't deserve to be the Minecraft community. They just need to, like, fix stuff up. Like, just fix up their entire mentality on how the world should work. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't... It's a hilarious quiz game. Is Dylan still using Linux? No, Dylan never started using Linux. I was just trying to get him to use it. Right now, he's, uh... He's enjoying making a shitload of money working in the mines. What happened at Luke's stream last night? Uh, apparently he talked about Baptist Kumas. That's all I know. You seen Open Dylan? The programming language, uh, seems no one is using it. That's a thing. That's a thing that exists. I did not know. <laughs> I think Luke took it. He always does that. He always... Luke always takes his streams down because he knows he always says something that is very, uh, very, 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 uh, yabe for YouTube. Uh, as a person who plays Minecraft frequently, I think all communities are cringe AF. Yeah, man, communities are cringe. I, 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 I get why the Minecraft community is so weird, partially because it's mainly full of children. But it's not. A, it's definitely not helped by like the people in it who are sort of encouraging it in, in many cases. If, if not encouraging it, definitely not actively discouraging it, which is something that should absolute, absolutely, absolutely uh, be done. TF2 community is the right amount of crazy. <laughs> as long as you stay away from like the Tumblr side, the Tumblr side of TF2 community is odd but like the normal people is fine too spicy for auntie sus sus auntie sussy people in it more like tommy in it <laughs> see look I, I the only the only word that i would love to be able to say with a british accent is in it it just doesn't sound right if you have an australian accent in it is such a like a it's such a such a British way of referring to anything. But like saying with anything besides like a British accent just sounds weird. Get in it. <laughs> How many Minecraft YouTubers are actually groomers? Well that's the big question, isn't it? That is the, that is the big question. Um More than I would hope. And I would hope there would be zero. Uh the fact that there's more than zero is a problem. Personally, I enjoy painful games when you complete them. It feels like an achievement. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I've been playing Dead Cells. Dead Cells is suffering. And that's why I'm going to play Celeste. And I want to do, like, Binding of Isaac as well and other things like that. Um, as much as I like games where you make progress, I feel... Oh, I feel like games like Binding of Isaac, you make progress in, in like, a different way. You make progress as, like, a as something inside yourself, rather than you make progress to the next arbitrary point in the story. Um, it's so hot. So let's find out what it is here. Currently, it is... 
it is 9 degrees Celsius, which is 49 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually not that cold today. Huh. Have I played the walking simulator? No, I have not played Hideo Kojima's walking simulator. I've seen videos of it. But it just didn't appeal to me. Uh, personally, I'm bad at games, so I like easy games. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you if you just enjoy it, like, I, as much as I enjoy things like Dead Cells, I also love games like Stardew Valley. Like, at, at the end of the day, you don't have to have everything be a challenge. So are you learning Git, Lazy Boy, or just procrastinating? Well, I finished the, uh, the, the game like an hour ago, and I just kept the stream going. So does that speech about gaming and progress mean you'll become a fighting game player? Oh no, that that that's a that's a hill we are definitely not gonna climb. That's that's way too steep. Have you played Dwarf Fortress? No, I have not. Um, but I I hear many things about it. Git add dash p and git ray uh, ray base rebase dash i are the best commands. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thank your word for it. I like git uh what is it? Git branch. Dash, oh, so git checkout dash b. That one. Git checkout dash b. That's pretty useful. Oh, yeah. It's coming to Steam, isn't it? Or is it on Steam? Play and release a date. Time is subjective. It is coming at some point. That's cool. When was the last time you guys all got laid? That's a good question. A while back. Uh, <laughs> but hey... Australia, prostitution is legal, so like. And on that note, we're going to end the stream. So, thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, I will do another stream. So my next stream is going to be a gaming stream on my gaming channel. That's going to be Kingdom Hearts. Then the next stream after that probably is going to be Celeste. Um... Then after that, I'm going to do a main channel stream. It might be a Reddit stream. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Luke is very angry right now. <laughs> what is Luke angry about? Um, yeah, I'm... Oh, so what... Ugh, give me one second. Before I go to bed, I've got... I've got, I've got some... I've got some, got some light reading to do. Dance, what a dance. Yeah, man, dance, what a dance. Uh, reading the uh, the the second volume of Adi Fureta. V very good light novel, highly recommend it. Uh, anime's a bit of a mess, but like, light novel's very good. Uh, anyone who re-uploaded the stream, usually he keeps them up or at least upload to Peertube. It might be on Peertube at some point, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna play the outro music and we're gonna end off the stream. And uh, there is the outro, cool. Seems lewd. Uh, mostly about killing monsters. There's just a bunny girl that basically wears no clothes as well because reasons. Oh, but like, it's also like not a manga, so you know, there's like, there's like, there's like words and stuff. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta read. You gotta read with your your eye holes. Um. Anyway, yes, I'm going to end the stream before I keep doing this and then don't end it. Uh. Brody plays sounds dirt. Brody Brody plays sounds dirty. Maybe I should just make. <laughs> Actually, that's a great. I just realized that's a great name for like an OnlyFans. I could just call it Brody plays. Um. You say that, but the anime showed the. Oh yeah, no, the yeah yeah. That's the next volume of the light novel where that happens. Good night, Australian white mental outlaw. I think that's a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, oh, Aussie Laser. I, I've i been playing Aussie Laser a bit. I have an idea for how I can stream it. Uh, there's a set of artists that have made their uh, their content available for Aussie uh, Laser gameplay. So I can absolutely stream that. I don't know when we're going to do it, but there will definitely be an Aussie Laser stream at some point. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this off. Turn this audio up and yeah. Uh
Peace out.